Damn it. I can't hit this thing. Get squashed. Get squashed. Oh, wait. I think I can hold up and it will kick it up. Pinata! <laughs> it's a pinata, everybody. Nice. Where is it? Where is it? Centipede! <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nice. Nice. Oh, wait. He's not doing the same. This is actually better because he's staying on the screen more. <laughs> Oops. Got hit. Oh my god. Oh! No. <laughs> Whoops. Got too confident. Maybe I didn't want to see the second form. Void Vigil! Alright, let's play. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff happening. Here's a spotter beacon. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, we are a killing machine, it looks like it. <laughs> we can even fit one more weapon. Bum, bum. What the hell is this? Do I try to hack you? Do I not touch you? It doesn't look safe to touch. Essence V8. What? Terminate! That's so cool. Cog storage. Steal it. Steal it. Steal it. Wow, the lasers are freaking nasty. Oh, I can't believe the lasers. This is almost like a, a mod of Bone Razor minions, but I'm here for it, honestly. We're getting bit. We're getting bit. Oh, man. We are. Oh, my God. Ooh, Odyssey. Let's go. A little spooky tune. A chip bit tune in the background. Let's get some of these XP orbs. The skull in the middle of the goop is just like floating around. It's kind of hilarious. We're going. They're trying to slip through the cracks. You can't do it like I do it, though. Slurp. Slurp. Zerp. We should just live underground at this point. We do not need to show our face. No. Slip it through. Slippity slip. We're in. I'm getting hurt. Did he punch me? What is this? How come I'm moving so weird? Okay, cool. Ah! Oh man, there's a million of them. I'm surrounded. I'm actually surrounded. Move! Ah! The goo died! Lost Castle 2. Halloween vibes. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? You want some of this? Pick up an ethereal weapon or armor. Yay, loot, loot, loot. So let's try the right trigger. Oh my God, I barfed. All right, drink a potion. Drink a potion. I'm bigger. Oh, Mario got a mushroom, baby. And they're not good. Oh, I died. From the diarrhea or was it the enemies? I have no idea. I mean, I think I'm just gonna use a lot of windmill. What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? We are trying out a new demo today. This one looks pretty interesting. It's called The Last Humble Bee. It is an action roguelite that has some platforming mixed in with it from the looks of it. And it just looks very, very quirky and the design of it has me interested. So I'm gonna check it out today and we'll see how it goes. So let's jump in here. The last humble bee, let's try it out. Hello, my name is Sunny. And I guess I'm the last humble bee. Very humble indeed. Honestly, I can't remember much, but I do remember opening my eyes and seeing the sky, like all bees must do every day. The whole thing is pretty messed up. I mean, <laughs> what's so messed up about that? There's these mushroom dudes and they tell me I'm dead. Interesting. Hey, Sonny, you're so dead. Oh my glob, oh my goodness. What is going on? Apparently, I'm not in heaven or hell, but some kind of crappy middle place called purgatory. Yep. All I know is that I'm basically alone. Oh, how sad. That That's maybe hell already. And they say that all the bumblebees are gone. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe they are all out there somewhere waiting for me. Okay. Sure, I can visit Earth, 
but only as long as I can survive. I have to survive, otherwise I wake up back in purgatory. World light, am I right? What did I do to deserve this? Press any button to continue. I can certainly do that. Is there any music or anything, or is it just sounds? Activate, oh, there is the music. Activate the four obelisks. Oh, I didn't read all that. Whoa, a demon bug. Good thing I can press the left mouse button to attack and move the mouse to aim, or press the enter key to attack. Not using the enter key. Oh yeah, he's swinging wildly. What is this thing, a bomb? Sure is. So as expected, space is your jump. Kind of looks like Sonic, doesn't it? Oh, what's that? A little frame skip, whatever. Oh, I can also charge up and dash, which it's telling me what to do right now. I can press the right mouse button or shift key to dodge and roll. I forgot how fun it is to roll around on Earth. I can press the space bar to jump and hold the space bar down to jump a little longer. Man, I'm so capable. Very true. So can I hit him with a dash? Or that's probably just to dodge. Something's telling me to find those giant floating obelisks. I mean, I feel connected to them. I'm guided by the obelisks on the corner on the screen. Okay. Let's go get them. What? Wait, does that hurt me? Maybe I got burned by some of these bombs or something. Oh man, a barrel. I bet the pioneer bees used to jump into these and fly for miles. Zip. Oh, I can fly for miles. So activate the floor obelisks. Okay. Those uh, instruction screens, they are not saying very long. Hopefully I'm learning everything I need to. Oh my God. Hopefully I'm learning everything I need to from just gameplay. My health bar in the top right hand, left hand corner looks kind of like a revolver pistol, like where you put the bullets. But I guess it's supposed to represent a hive. A few more XP nectar and I level up. Then I can finally unlock some of that bumblebee magic. Bumblebee magic, huh? Alright. There is a lot of enemies for a starting situation here. Hopefully I can get some awesome upgrades to just clear out the whole screen. Weapon upgrade. Per permeate fire plus damage. Weapon upgrade poison touch plus damage. Auto shoot random huge icicle damage. Riptide roll upgrade unleash waves plus knockback. All of these sound amazing. Let's go with the ice missile. Ice missile, please. I don't see these ice missiles. Okay, do, do not touch the enemies. I got ya. Can I roll past the enemies? I'm, I'm wondering about that. Oh, there's an icicle. <laughs> Sounds like I farted. Do bees fart? I think they do in this game. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm hitting the edge of the screen here. I'm dead. Well, that didn't last very long. I guess bees don't last very long, do they, in the real world? Purgatory. Well, back to purgatory. Maybe I'll have better luck on the next life. I wonder where all the bees are. Are they also stuck in their own weird life and death loop like me? Based on all the signage, maybe the devil knows. Devil? Beevil? Devil Beevil? What is all this? Read sign. Purgatory famous ball pit. The best and only ball pit in the realm. Note, the pit has been removed since the incident. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this game definitely doesn't take itself too seriously. When I'm ready, I can enter the Purgatory's portal back to Earth. But every time I die, the Earth's obelisk will deactivate for some reason. Guess I'll have to activate them without dying. Yeah, we know how a roguelite works. You don't have to explain it. So I have no meta currency, but it looks like we can get permanent permanent things. Passively doubles damage dealt by your water ice magic cards. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I can't afford anything. Thanks, fun guy. Hey, Sunny, you want to buy a permanent item? You can take one of these with you to Earth each time you go. That doesn't mean it's permanent, then. Don't tell anyone, okay? That, that means it's temporary, my friend. There's a miserable old mushroom merchant. Just because he fought in the Mushroom Wars, he thinks he can charge sunstones for magic cards. What do these do? These unlock the cards that I'm able to find, right? You can't buy this card, you're dirt poor. 
You know what? That's the truest thing I've ever heard of. What is this thing? Oh geez, the bee's been busted for ages. This thing's been busted for ages. Can you believe they don't have these up in the good place? What is this, a, a gambling machine? Out of order, You, if you have a complaint, then take it up with the bug upstairs. <laughs> okay, probably not available for the demo. Well, look at this. Nothing like whomping on a dummy to vent my frustrations or try out a new weapon. Long spear, sounds like me. I like that better, to be honest. Let's see the Shadow Axe. The axe is pretty good too. Grim Scythe, we always like a good scythe. How's that different than the axe? The axe just seems like a better version of the scythe to me. I don't know why. Colossal Hammer. Does the most damage, but the range isn't as good. I'm gonna actually try the Shadow Axe. All right, portal to earth, straight ahead, but don't activate any obelisks on earth. You definitely don't want to go back to the bad place. I thought that was my mission. There's a handy deck building workbench. It's always good to customize our magic cards before going back to earth. So you choose which items you can find. I think that we're just going to use everything and just try it out. There's no point trying to customize it too much before trying everything out to see what's good, you know? Uh, I hate pressing space a whole bunch. But I also want to jump everywhere, so it's a little bit hindersome. What was that? I did not see what that said. Alright, let's go back to Earth. Chill! It gets, but still gets the heart buzzing. Good if you want to find the obelisk, fight some enemies, and eventually beat the game. Slower enemy speed, easier bosses, more HP drops, and faster level ups. This is the intended difficulty for humbling. You will die a lot. Good if you want a challenge. Yeah, okay. I've played games before, so I shouldn't be so bad at this game, should I? Oh, you have to hit them in the um, the space of the weapon. That makes a lot of sense, but a lot of games, it will let you hit things even in between you and the weapon, if you have a lot of range. But um, yeah, I guess in this game, you actually have to hit them right at this sweet spot which is fair okay so it's like a 2d game but there's it's like a 2.5d game i guess it, you're a 2d sprite in a 3d world and it's kind of throwing me off where things are supposed to be touching each other and stuff like that i gotta be a little bit more careful we tried the ice missile didn't love it Rolls upgrade Poisonous Cloud. Let's see if this happens every single time. Oh my god, he is for real farting now. <laughs> poisonous Cloud from this from this bee. Maybe we could keep some more bees around in the real earth if they farted like this. A little bit hard to use. Long Spear, why would I pick up the Long Spear now? Is it stronger than the old one? I don't think it's stronger, but I might still use it. So we can do corruption, weapon, upgrade, trap enemies, and knockback. Let's try it out. You know what? I want the Shadow Axe back. Give me this thing. I'm pressing space and it's just... Wait a minute. How did I do that ice throw? Why do they keep dropping things? I definitely don't like the sword. I just feel like I'm most effective with this axe here. I'm, I'm just standing here farming. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Did I click the wrong thing? I'm pretty sure I didn't pick up the icicle thing again. Yeah, the, the levels, like the, the different... Um, the different depths is kind of throwing me off as well because I can't tell if they're underneath the level that I'm standing on and stuff like that. Doesn't matter. Auto shoot, random huge icicle. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm... I'm shooting these, but I didn't pick it unless two of the um, two of the the abilities kind of look the same. Sniper laser, random piercing beam. That sounds great. Unleash waves from my from my roll again. You know what? Let's pick it because we're doing lots of stuff with our roll. Yet, I don't see the wave. There is the wave. Is there like a skill cooldown counter? Like some kind of indication of when the skills are ready, because I ain't seeing it. 
I guess you just gotta know. If you know, you know. Okay, let's get out of here. What am I doing? Peace out. We're boasting out of here. Whoop. Um, I didn't think I chose anything. But I guess I'm here now. Why do I have a sword all of a sudden? What happened to my axe? What in heaven's name? Okay. And I have no abilities? Does it... I, I don't know what's happening. Maybe the character resets every single level. Nope, I have the icicle still. And I have this fart still. Okay. Um, I don't know why I lost my axe. A little bit sad about that. Alright, enough farming. Let's go find some stuff. What is this? A health. Oh yeah, looks like I found, uh, found a honeycomb. I feel healthier than ever. The bees need that honey. This guy's annoying. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, perfect. He's dropping honey? No, he's dropping sun coins. Where's this thing? Boing. Wait, I want that. I want that. Yes, magnetize, please. Bouncy. Do I find more stuff or do I just get out of here? You know what? I'm gonna go find more stuff. Whoa, the barrier over there looks like it offers some nice protection. Maybe I should chill out in it for a second. What barrier? What are you talking about barrier? I don't see no barrier. Oh, that barrier. The game should really wait until I can actually see it to talk about it. Oh, time is frozen. A wise homeless bug. Okay, just because he's homeless doesn't mean he's a bad businessman. Okay, I'm looking at homelessness in a whole new light here. He'll grant you one level for a small donation. Would you like to pay gems to gain one level? I think I'm almost leveled up, so I'm going to say no. I'm leveled up. I'm going to run back in and say yes now. Smoke jumper. Auto shoot. Roll upgrade for static. Riptide again. I'll take static. Yep, we definitely do have some static. Let's do it. Level up. And uh, you know what? I've, I've been walking away from it, but let's try explosive here. The normal me would have picked this immediately. But I'm trying to do things different nowadays, you know? Okay. Damn, I'm getting low on health. But I think I can find some honeycombs by attacking some bushes around here. Oh! That's a good idea. I should try that. Let's try the bushes. The bushes have XP. Never mind. I must have killed something by the bush. This guy is not even looking at me. Give me a freaking honeycomb. Oh, there's some honeycomb. Actually, there's quite a bit of honeycomb. I just healed all the way. What the hell? Pick it up. There you go. Yo. Hello, Mr. Board. You want to play some B games with me? We have to save the whole kingdom of the bees as this one lonely bee. Do you think we can do it? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Press the tab key to open my map. Holy crap. Um, okay, we're going down here. What? So I can't actually go up here. I need to like probably use a barrel to get over there. All right, let's go save the bees. We need honey. We can't lose honey, we need honey. Whoa! Lots of big coins. I'm not gonna go into that big thing just yet. Let me get some of this stuff. Very peaceful music. It reminds me of like music from Mario Paint for some reason. If you all know what I'm talking about. Loading, loading, loading. I'm doing good, man. I've been doing all right, how about you? Just, you know, chilling, playing games. Can't complain. Whoa, what's this? No dialogue? It didn't seem to give me much. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's be real here. I'm just trying to find my way around. Where? Oh, what is this thing? Blow him up, blow him up. Oh, he has three swords. He's kind of a badass. Okay. 
How much damage do you take to die? There you go. He actually wasn't that bad. You just need to roll around him. Um, this doesn't look good. I'm going to try to kill them, though. How do I get up there? Again, the, the depth is really hard for me to gauge. Can I get all the way up here? No, doesn't look like it. How do I get over there? Oh, sun chip. I want the sun chip, baby. Sun chips, anybody? Favorite snack or no? Uh, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of like crazy contraptions everywhere. Oh, what is going on? Sonic the Hedgehog mode over here. Uh, okay, we're jumping. We're jumping out of here. Oh, no! Well. Okay. Oh, we got a we got another dude over here. We got another homeless guy selling stuff. Pop, 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 pop. It's very, very punchy, these sounds. Noxious cloud again, or we can do weapon upgrade, trap enemies, and knockback. The last time I took this, it looked like a I was shooting ice stuff for some reason. Yes, I, I agree with you, Sass. S-A-S? Sass? Sass? S-A-S? Whatever you want me to call you. Uh, so we have an Icarus boot. Still waiting on the other shoe to drop. Make sure, make you invulnerable on the upward ascent of your jump. Huh. I'm going to say no thanks to that. Let me see the submarine sandwich. Zia's sandwich. The best sandwich when it's... The best sandwich when it's a good bread day. Not sure if I exactly understand what that means. Heals for one comb and you deal bonus damage for four minutes. I don't take that. Hedgehog ring. Okay. I mean, we just mentioned Sonic. Spog is good. Spog makes a lot more sense than sass. <laughs> Sorry. Is SA like South Africa? Where you're from kind of thing? Or no. Increases the distance when you dodge and roll. I think I should buy it because I do have a lot of dodge stuff going on. And sure, I'll take the Icarus boot because I am quite wealthy. Alright, now we have a super dash. Look at me, I'm, I'm so hazardous. Unbelievable. It's close, South Australia. That's even cooler. I watch way too many things just because it's Australians in it. I don't want to admit to any of it because I'm sure people hate the shows that I watch. <laughs> you know, My Kitchen Rules, Below Deck, Australia. Watch The Boys every once in a while on YouTube. Alright, where the hell are these obelisks? It's pointing me down here, but I, I seriously can't get down there. Oh, we're sneaking. This is like Super Mario when you like kind of go above the map and just do whatever. But I guess that's what I was supposed to do. I, I climbed through into a new map. So now we know. What? Seriously, what happens to my axe? I don't want to use a sword anymore and they're not dropping any more weapons. Holy crap. Oh, oh. We got some mages. It's actually kind of fun to just, like, mindlessly roll around and, and smash things, I'm not gonna lie. But we do need some health now. There's a lot of these dudes. Alright, let me see. Ice Missile, Fireball, Auto Shoot Random. So it seems like they have the four elements, Ice, Poison, Fire, Lightning, and then they just have, like, your roll effects for it, your attack effects for it, and that's about it. It's just a demo. But it's looking kind of simple, I guess is what I'm trying to say right now. I'm I'm still enjoying it. Not every game has to have like the complexity and um, you know, just a bunch of like super unique upgrades, I guess. We've seen it all by now these days. Can I can I take this? Can I add it though? <laughs> Let me go in here. Okay, that's not where I wanted to go. I want this sun chip. Can I get to it from here? Whoa, okay. There must have been an entrance to the top of the things somewhere else. Oh, that was it. Oh, we need to speed into it. Sonic jump. 
I get it now. I get it. Oh, God. Oh, this guy has a bow. What is this stuff? These floor traps and stuff are just, like, kind of crazy. Was it? I can't remember what was happening in the Magicraft demo. But if that is true, then yeah, you're right. We shouldn't make a judgment just from the demo because Magicraft is now like the most complicated crafting, magic crafting game I've ever seen in my life. Not complicated, but very, very robust, I'll say. But that's a good call out. Could I get some health, please? We need health from bushes. Apparently honey exists in bushes. That's not what I learned in school, but apparently that's what happens in here. Um, I don't want to travel to the left because I should really be going to the right. Right? Could you stop doing this to me? All right, let, let's move towards this part of the map because it seems like there is an obelisk over here. I think. Brr. For some reason, I feel like this game will be simpler than Magicraft, though. If I if I could make a guess. <laughs> All right. Well, we we reached the town, I guess. Honey plants. Come buy some honey plants. Hey, Sunny. I'm practicing my shopkeeper shouting. Do you want to buy something? You gotta do better than that. I might still buy something though. Oh, I thought that his wand was something I could pick up. Do you want to buy this plant? A wonky looking plant pulled straight out of the ground. Nobody is quite sure why these plants are full of honey. Heals for one comb of health. Nah, I'll go find it. What do you have? Johnny's wick. Keanu bees is so hot right now. <laughs> Ke Keanu bees, okay. Johnny's wick, I get it, John wick. Why, did, why is there so many John Wick references in roguelites? Or is it all games in general? Can someone educate me? Because I've seen like Keanu and John, John Wick references in so many games, it's kind of crazy. Passively doubles damage dealt by fire magic cards. Yeah, I'll buy it. Yeah, I'll buy it, sure. We saw it in Chicken Knots as well. Black Hole Necklace. Next time you take damage to Destroy all minor enemies. Nah, that's so temporary. I do like the item variety so far. So that's a saving grace. Where the hell is this thing? It's right over here. Oh, attack it. Is there a boss? So, if it isn't Sunny the Bee, the devil's been keeping his eyes on you. I have no pity for lost souls. Maybe John Wick is like the goaded, like, god mode fighter, you know? He's like the... He's what we all, all... He's what we want to be in video games. Just some invincible dude that can just kill everything super quick. I've only seen the first one. I've heard he gets a, a little bit older and a little bit slower in the, the new ones, but... I'm gonna keep living that dream of the first John Wick. Well, this guy has a lot of health. Can I hit him with his own bombs or... Nope. Doesn't look like it. My... My slash definitely does more damage. And it doesn't look like there's contact damage so far from him. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna just try to whack him once these things disappear, please. Where you at? Where you at? He's gonna maw me. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! Did I get hurt there? I don't think I did. Is, it, is this boss doing what it's supposed to? Because it seems kind of... Uh, not so tough to fight. Okay, that doesn't look good. Okay, I got hit finally. I don't know if it was from an arrow or from his breath. It's from touching him. Yep, that makes a lot more sense. There is contact damage after all. Oh my god, where did these guys come from? Did they come from other parts of the map? Yo, come over here. I do not want to fight with all those arrow dudes. Okay, there's even more over here. Don't kill me, don't kill me! Yep, yep, 
Yep, dashing, dashing, dashing. I, I don't know wh what a good position will be here. All right, I guess I'll just try to slash him through the wall. No. Please spawn right here. Perfect. No. Stay here, though. He's here. Slash him. Wait, I can just hold on to the mouse button. What am I doing? It does disable the roll. It would be nice to kind of like do a attack cancel with the roll. But if you're holding on to the left mouse button, you can't right mouse button to roll out. But you can do a space. Okay, fair, 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 fair. We're gonna do it. We can do this. Impossible, you chunky insect. You think you're better than me? You'll never make it to hell. That sounds like a good thing. Thanks for the compliment. I, I don't even know. Whoop, 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 whoop. Fireball, explosive, wired, ice missile. Let's take the fireball because we have the fire card thing. Holy crap, that's a lot of XP. Or maybe I haven't been farming enough. Um, poison touch? Maybe. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go true. I'm gonna try to find my own health in other places. Colossal hammer! Let's pick it up. Please don't lose it this time. Zip biddy doo da. So we're gonna travel north towards the next obelisk here. Why would anyone go towards like this area? Maybe there's like lots of treasure, etc. We'll see. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, this is This is nice. I like the hammer a lot better than the sword. Frankly, I think anything's better than the sword. Okay, so we have Noxious Cloud again. I don't think I'm really into all of the rolling effects as much as I want it to be. Uh, you know what? I'm enjoying the hammer, so we're going to keep that instead of the spear. All of a sudden, everyone wants to drop items, eh? Oh, oh god, oh god. Uh, let me out of here. We need health. Where the health at? Here's some bushes. Get the bush. Where's the honeycomb? Oh, there's honeycomb over here. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> Why does there have to be so many of them? <laughs> I also don't know if the spawn rate stops ever. So, crescent shot. Oh my god, this is new. So this is like normal or neutral, neutral uh, element most likely. Spherical zap. This looks new too. I'm gonna try it. It's not new. We already had it. What am I talking about? Ooh. Grim Scythe. Should we try it? A little bit slower than the axe. Wider range. I Or not the axe, the hammer. I think I like the hammer better. Okay, cool. So I believe if I do a boost... What? Boost up. Dude, do it. How do I get up there? Oh, I did it, I did it. This guy's coming back. I see you, I see you. Sun chips, sun chips for the boys. Now, how do I get to the south platform? Maybe I can roll. Ugh. Didn't work. Come on, let's try it again. Here we go. Ugh. I want that sun chip at the very least. Knowing me, I'm doing this the stupid way. <laughs> Please move. Here we go. Here we go. We're so close. We're just going to do it this way. I don't even know if I am going to see any of the upgrades available through the sun chips. Here we go. I pressed space and picked up a different weapon. It is unfortunately the same button to jump and pick up. Okay, here we go. We got the sun chip. Hope it was worth it. Oh, oh god. Keep moving. Tunnel vision on that obelisk. I, I do want the healing though. Is Ouch! Now I definitely need the healing. Is there a boost pad? 
I don't see a boost pad, so I'm getting very worried. Sniper laser, let's try it out. Sure. Yikes. Too much stuff happening. Let me see if there's a little boost jump over, over here. Okay. It's nice that we can hit the bombs. No way! All right, we're moving. Oh, treasure chest, huh? Well, you know I have to go for that. Oh, there's some boosts. Kill you first. There's another boost. How do I hit that guy? I think he's above me. Again, the depth is very, very hard for me to read. What is going on here? I actually don't even know what's going on. Yes? Oh, I made it somehow. Where was that treasure chest again? Abandoned house. Very cool. Okay, stop. No, don't fall down. All right, we're going back. Bounce. Somehow make it up here. I think there's another bounce pad that I'm not seeing there. Cool. Oh, it was just a bunch of diamonds. I don't even care about that. All right, let's check out. Oh my God, I fell again. I want to check out the abandoned house. Wait, I can go just go up here, can I? Nice. Don't. Patience is a virtue. We're good. Just walk over normally. I get it. Can I go in? Hello? I see people in there. How do I go in there? I, I guess I can't. There's people attacking in there, but whatever. What's up, dude? Blood Honey Shrine costs one of your things, of your health, and you get 250 gems. Really don't think that's a good deal for me. I have way more money than health, so... I'm not gonna take that. What else is around here? Bushes for honey. No honey. Alright, we're moving towards the obelisk. Hopefully there's another shop right by it, because... I'm going to need some health before the next boss, most likely. Probably two more screens until we get to the obelisk. That's what I'm assuming. Long spear, no thanks. Almost leveled up though. All right, let's see if anything interesting comes up. Probably not. Jump upgrade, Rings of Fire. We haven't had a jump upgrade yet. Oh, nice. So now I fart fire. Take fire, nerds. It's not worth it. It is worth it if you're attacking, actually. I lied. All right, let's try to jump up here. No? Jump up here? No? Oh my god. We finally made it somehow. Lots of coins. I think I saw some treasure somewhere else. Screw it, I'm just leaving. Oh my god, why would I have to fall on that? Alright, let me in here. Special battery. Not sure what makes this battery special, but it is. Passively doubles damage dealt by your electric magic cards. Sure. Why not? Here you go. I'm so glad you bought it. Cool. Heart can comb container increases maximum honeycombs from six to 12. Holy crap. I guess I'm not that rich. That costs a lot. Vitality potion heals for one honeycomb and then another one every minute. Max five. Effect expires upon taking damage. Okay. Does that mean I can just, like, stand here? Oh, wait, no. Time is frozen. Oh! <laughs> wow. So I already wasted that. Oh, here's a Shadow Axe. I think I have to find some health, man. There's some health. What a waste. Oof is for real. I literally stepped outside of the dome and just took a hit to the face. 
How great. Alright, no. Oh, there's some honeycomb. Sweet. I, I've had enough of this. We're moving on. No, no, no. I would want the HP increase, the max HP increase, but also I'm so dead that it doesn't matter. Actually, if I buy it, it probably heals me for six. The new six HP that I'm picking up, right? All right, let's farm. These guys don't drop money, though. Excuse me. All right, here's some money. So little money, it's crazy. Yay, level up. Let's do a... I don't like any of this. I'll take a fireball. Sure. Why? Why does that hurt? Nice. Is that enough? It is not enough. I need like three more treasure chests to buy that HP upgrade. But I might try for it. I don't know. What is going on? <laughs> what was that? I guess it was me bouncing between the podiums real quick. Oh my god! No, don't pick up the sword. Pick this thing up. No, please! Pick it up! Oh my god, just just get it. Yeah, the, the depth, positioning, etc. is uh, a little bit tough. Carefully now. We don't have a lot of life. Let me up. Let me up. Please! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, just run. Honeycomb? There's honeycomb! Running, running. Ah, oh, God, I'm sweating. This is not good. Let's do wired because we do have the magic card for, or the thing for electricity, whatever it was, the battery. Let me over here, actually. Can I have that diamond? Long spears here. I want that diamond. Why would I run through a corridor of enemies? I don't know. Thank God for that heal, and I lost it immediately. We're bouncing. Oh, I didn't make it. Screw this. I'm out of here, dude. Please be a town just like the last obelisk. I really need it. Looking good so far. Wait, bushes. Bushes. I don't like the vibrations. I need bushes. Oh, money go. What the hell is this? So he has a last wish. Activates upon death, get an extra two honeycombs. So it's basically a res with two. That's kind of worth it just for like two honeycombs of healing. But let me see what else is here. Base monkey's banana. Okay, man, Base Monkey was a good video game. I don't think I know that video game if it's actually for real. Heals two combs of health because potassium. So this is the same thing, but it doesn't give you a res. I'm gonna see what else there is just in case I need money. Nobody's quite sure why these plants are full of honey. It heals for one health. This is actually the best value in terms of cost versus how much it heals. Are they both the same? Okay. We're buying both. And then I'm gonna buy the res too. Last wish. Thank you for the last wish, buddy. And we are gonna go find this obelisk. It is downwards. Zip. Where you at? There it is. I do like that sound when you activate it. Beep, beep, boop. Is that a B? Master will be pleased with this one. Master likes broken things. The Devil's Colossus. So far, so good. This doesn't look so hard. Oh. <laughs> Eat my own words, as usual. This, yeah, those pots look like they are 
hazardous, so I don't want to break them. Wait, some of them don't. Nothing's in them. Okay, cool. Whoa! Looks like they're always gonna have a bunch of minions with them. No way! Don't touch me. Oh, what the hell? How does this guy have so many freaking ceramic pots? Yo, Link, where you at? Break these pots for me. Oh my god. Stop breaking the pots. Smack this guy instead. Get money. We're rich. Beep boop, back to dormancy. Master will beep, deep, be disappointed. See you later, bud. <laughs> yeah, great minds think alike, Spog. So we're going to take Crescent Shot because we haven't seen it yet. That's the only reason why I'm taking it. Only one level? That sucks. Where does this take me? Okay. Can I, can I just teleport like directly to the next boss fight? I, I don't want to travel anymore. Which is a bad sign. I just feel like it's going to be more of the same. I do like the waiting music. All right, let's do this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ouch. I do want that honeycomb. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, damn it. I assume that this is like third level. Yep. Very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. You want my health for money, don't you? For 250 gems. No, I can't do it. <laughs> stop, stop. Last time I left a dome, I died. It's all good. Let me get these bushes right before I leave. Wait, is that a treasure chest? There is one there. We gotta go get it. Whoa, wait, let me up. I leveled up. So let's do an explosive. Get this money. I, I can't even see what's happening. What's up here? Anything cool? Oh my god, my death is up here. This has got to be the death. We're leaving. Oh, I saw them holding the honeycomb and got excited. Okay. We can do this. Almost there, little bee. We can do it. I wish pots had honeycombs too. Um, I'm, I'm really actually not down to fight. Get up there! I'm obviously doing this wrong. Move it. Get the bushes. Oh my god! <laughs> Get me out of here! Oh. I blame it on the repetitive bouncing. Nice, honeycomb. Ooh, this has to give me a honeycomb. There's one. Yep, lost it right away. Holy crap. Alright, maybe it's time to try the scythe. I don't like it. <laughs> the hammer's the best thing. Oh, I don't want to go up here. Um, that's a lower level, yep. Lots of dudes here. What do you got? You got healing? You know what? I, I feel like I can find my own healing. Will I regret that decision? It's very, very possible. Sonic Spinball. Is there a Sonic Pinball game? Because that sounds awesome. I actually love pinball a lot. There's a game that I play... I, I try to get people to watch on the channel every once in a while. Zombie Rollers, but no one wants to watch it at all. 
but I love that game so much. And I, I see it a million times over and over, but they need to make another Pokemon Pinball because that is 100% getting played on this channel if it exists or if it happens. Don't do... Damn it. Go back. Go back immediately. Wait. Break the bushes. We're going back. What? No way. What is going on here? So the, the barrel shoots you in a very specific way. I thought it would um, kind of go in the direction that I'm facing, but it doesn't. Are you stupid? This game is unfair. We're going. I don't want to go that way. All right, give me the wired, sure. So many enemies. Lots of bombs. Oh, give me the bush. Sure. Where will this take me? To the left, hopefully? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Mr. Moneybags. Hello, I like money. Hey, that's like me. Bushes are more li likely to spawn gems. Hopefully it will give me lots of dividends and returns. Passively doubles damage dealt by your poison. Yeah, okay. That kind of like completes everything. Fast feet. Grants bonus walking speed for five minutes. Nope. It was for Sega. Oh, okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't own a Sega. So... Yeah, I actually didn't own a lot of... Um, a lot of systems when I was younger. All of the games I had were passed down to me until I could finally convince my mom to buy me a PS1 when um, they made the smaller white one. That was like the first system that I actually owned myself that I bought. Well, I didn't even buy it, my mom did. <laughs> but everything else was borrowed or um, donated. And yeah, I definitely didn't have a Sega. So let's see, we have some healing. Let's just buy it. Prepare myself for a battle. We have black hole necklace. Next time you take damage, destroy all enemies. Right, don't want that. Don't want this because it's only temporary. Let's check if there's any bushes. It doesn't look like it. Am I ready with five? I think I'm ready with five and I do have a, a rezo. Reek! Another corpse for my collection, I see. This one still breathes, but not for long. Why do these guys hate bees so much? What the hell? It's a spider! Oh, okay. okay. Let's attack and jump so we can do farts. Oh my god! Expert aim on that jump. Don't kill me. Ooh. Okay, this guy is actually scary. You would. Okay. So this is the bomb boss. We had an arrow boss. We had a bomb boss. We had a ceramic boss. What's next? You gotta be freaking kidding. Oh my god, get me out of here. I do not want to run into that. This is getting a little bit scary. Can I hit him with his own bombs? Is that is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know if that's working or not. But jumping is definitely working. Yikes. Yikes. I killed him somehow. No, you may have escaped judgment for now, but I swear your flesh will be mine for the taking soon enough. <laughs> so far, the spider seems the most likely for a boss fight. For a boss, a bee would fight. Yeah, that's true. Like a robot, that's kind of weird. Uh, a worm, kind of weird as well. Can I? Yep. Yeah. Thank God for the magnetism. I thought I I would have to pick them all up for some reason this time. Explosive again, please. Is there something that's like a passive stat upgrade that I can possibly consider? Oh, I just realized that these have little dots underneath to tell you 
how much of it you have. I thought I picked this up. All right, well, we have it now. I would love, absolutely love to go back to the shop. Where the hell am I? All right, well, I think I went to the shop this way, right? Jump. Where's the shop at? What the? Entrance at the back? It sure is. All right, where my bro with the hail and there's my bro with the healing. Please give me this. I need it. See you later. Well, oh, <laughs> thought that was a platform underneath. My bad. So we're going to the south now, right? Yes, we are. Let's go find some bushes. It's great. It's good. gonna be a good time. Nice. Honeycomb immediately. Did my res get used up there? It was happening so fast, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. No tooltip on the things you have. Okay. Lots of bushes at least. Oh God. Not good. Honeycomb. More. Very nice. Where's the bushes? Oh, I saw a bunch over here. That is basically heaven to me. Whoop. All of a sudden, we're almost fully healed. Never mind. <laughs> I want bushes. What is this? The apple looks good. Let me see. Sugary apple heals for two combs. For 300? Let me see what else you got. Armstrong gauntlets. Increased knockback of weapon attacks. You know what? I do want that. I didn't take the healing. I did get some healing right outside of the dome. Full heal. Let me full heal. It'll feel so good. Oh boy. There's lots of stuff happening here. Whoa. How did I even get hit? That's unfair. Okay, that one was my fault for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What's this? I see some nice pavement. Maybe I don't want to be in the pavement. Yeah, we're we're not trading health. I'm sorry, bro. Keep going down. Just a little more. Just a little more. I wonder what the full version would have. Because if it's just like, I guess it would just be more of this, but in a different map, I guess, with different obelisks that you need to conquer. But yeah, I don't know. It seems like <laughs> this could be the whole game. You just conquer four of them and go. We'll see. Jeez, how did I lose so much health? Oh God. No way. No way. Help me, help me. No. No. Get, no. How am I not dying? I'm still alive somehow. Glitch? <gasps> Roll slots, let's go. Yeah, this could be considered world one. You're right. But we have so many levels already. I don't know what I'm thinking. So we have a gotcha slot machine. Long ago, Mysterious Robin dropped these slots into the world. Randomly gives a sunstone health item or some gems. Okay. Oh yeah, Papa loves the slots. I really do. This is a huge cost for it though. That is like, I'm going to roll it at least once. It gave me more stones back for sure. I feel like I should roll until I get some health at least. Okay, I got some health. 400 for one health. That was not worth it. I thought it would be more than that for 400, but uh, what can you do? Let's just hope there's no like ultimate item that I want to buy for 1500 again. We're looking for bushes. Oh yeah, baby. 
Give me some of that good bush action. Wait, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> you guys did not hear me say that. Okay. I'm hearing like a weird alien. Yeah, good reaction. <laughs> Where the hell are these bushes at? There's some more. Do you hear that? I do not like the sound of the next obelisk guardian or whatever you want to call them. And I also don't know if my wish thing is still active. Because I definitely took more hits than I should have and I'm still alive. Alright, where's this platform? Hello? At the bottom, I guess? What a waste of time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Freaking hell. Why? There we go. Read the sign. I probably don't need to. There's some healing. Perfect. We can probably buy one here. The bandana is going to give us. It increases damage done to enemies the closer they are to you. Getting Got to get close with this cap. No cap. Sounds like a great item. Uncommon candy. <laughs> we all know what that's a reference to. It levels me up. You know what, I'm just gonna buy it, although it's not like, I was halfway through, whatever. Just take a quick level here. We're gonna take Corruption. And we're gonna take a full heal. Since we got the cash. Let's fight him. Oh, there's a boost in here. There's boost in here, so I'm wondering if this is gonna be a little bit of a tough fight. What goes there, hmm? I sense a quiet heart pounding, so you'll be silenced and mine for the safekeeping. Osmodius the Heart Hoarder. So he's... What exactly is this guy? He kind of seems like a, a bug in a cloak. You know those guys with the three swords that we have been fighting? He seems like him. The music is bo a bop though. Great tune. I almost don't want to kill him so I can listen to the music. Oh! Lots of summons. He's got his ninjas. <laughs> wow. Farm? Should we just farm? This is crazy. They all drop like the same amount of XP. It's kind of crazy. Pick this up. Oh, don't stop the song if I'm leveling up. Are you crazy? If anything, just like dim the volume. Osmodius, you have been fun to fight because of all the XP. Jeez Louise. Whoop. 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 You know what? I am starting to die, so we're going to kill him. Vor vorticity. Vorticity is going to be max level now. Whoa! Where is this guy? Ugh. Wow, there's so much leveling. It's kind of crazy. Crescent shot. Sure, let's pick it up. I'm guessing after we kill this guy, it's over. Like the whole demo. So we'll pick whatever. Or I could die. <laughs> or I could die. Don't touch him. Is there a level up that heals me? Oh my god! I really don't know if I still have my wishing thing. I do have my wishing thing, it just activated. And he's dead. Ouch! Hey, that actually hurt. Your heart ticks for a little longer, I suppose. Thanks for the great fight. Do I need any of this? All right, give me the sword stuff. Corruption. Sounds great. All right, what do I do now? Oh, there's this thing. Congrats, you have reached the portal to hell, but you'll have to wait for the full game to pay the devil a visit. Oh, right, you have to go kill the devil. Please wishlist this game on Steam to be notified upon release. Very cool. Thanks, Jacob. Um, I'm not going to wishlist it right now because I think it'll kick me out. And I'm going to... Oh, this guy's going hard. Um, the feedback I will provide 
uh, if I can reach out to the developer. Let's go back to Purgatory because what I want to see now is where we can use these sun chips just so that we can get an idea of what the game can offer with the meta currency and stuff like that. Passively doubles your damage dealt by your poison magic cards. So yeah, these are going to give you some stuff for the next run. And it's just like element specific stuff. This thing that we had before as well. And a heart container for more hearts. You can roll, I guess, over here too. And these are permanent upgrades for the type of cards that you can get, I'm, I'm thinking. Hi, Benjamin. Dragon's Breath. Do you want to buy this card? Auto shoot random big fire blast. Yeah, I'll buy it. Maybe we'll try these out real quick. Roll upgrade, burning rubber. We didn't have a roll upgrade already? Weapon upgrade, drop thunder. Is that it? Let me see if I can reset. Dead. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of intense. <laughs> oh, it did refresh. Auto shoot. Extend tentacles. Cool. Ice spike. I'm just going to buy it all. Static sidekick. A buddy. Okay. I'm seeing the variety I wanted to see at this point. Oh no. I don't have enough money for more cards. With... With enough of these, this is a pretty hefty one. So these are the last two that we won't be able to see. Auto shoot, a wisp of frost, frost, that's okay. Poison burst from your gassy collisions, that's okay. So we're, please move, stop, stop. So we're going to do a quick build and we're going to use all the new ones. Oh crap, where are the new ones? Oh, they're all mixed in here. I should have done that in a different order. We didn't do the tentacle yet. Dragon's Breath is new. Burnout is new. And I guess that's it. We have to have other ones in here too. Okay. Jump, 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 ice spike. Oh, I just want to test out the new ones. Why you gotta make me do this? I am doing very well, sir. Very well. All right, the last thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do a chill run just so that we can level up fast. Get me the hell out of here. Or right, give me more enemies, please. I just wanna see some of this new stuff, you know? Why would it make me land right on an enemy? That's unfair. So we haven't seen Toxic Tentacle. Okay, fair enough. It really is a Toxic Tentacle. We haven't seen Burnout. So it's kind of like the poison, but it's just farting fire behind us. That makes sense. Couple more levels and we're gonna get the heck out of here. Please? Let me up here. There's like barely any enemies. <laughs> what is this? No thanks. Give me more enemies. Or maybe I should go fight the uh, the last dude that we fought. And he can just spawn a bunch of enemies for me. All right, what else haven't we tried? Thunderbolt we haven't tried. Weapon upgrade, this one sounds cool. Yeah, I like this one. Very cool. I wanna see the buddy. Where's the buddy upgrade? Oh my god. Please, just like send in a million enemies right now. I need it. Maybe there's like a scaling mechanism for how many obelisks you uh, break open or whatever. We're just gonna go fight him. I'm ready. How come my roll looks a little different too? Let me up here. Let me up here. Let's fight him. Is it the worm? Oh, right. Based on level sounds actually probably more realistic. It's the Leviathan. 
Oh my goodness. Die faster, please. Starting to feel like this was a bad idea. <laughs> Is he spawning yet? I'm just gonna kill a bunch of enemies on the side once they come. Second form. Oh, they're coming. Yes, give me XP. So we can do more Thunderbolt here. I just wanna see the buddy. I don't know why, I just I just want to. You know what, let's get him to third form. Okay. Okay, I think that's third form. I'm gonna die doing this. I am definitely gonna die doing this. Okay. Please just let me see the buddy first. Level up. Where's the buddy? Wait, I don't wanna kill him yet. So many shadow axes. Oh no, I've killed all the minions. Oh my god, I'm dead. Don't do this to me, I just wanna see the freaking buddy. Whoops. I'm scared he's gonna breathe fire on me. Oh, I thought I died there. Peace out. All right, give me the XP. Sick. Buddy. Please, buddy. Um, have we seen the Dragon's Breath? We haven't. More levels. What? Last time you gave me like three levels. Ugh. So annoying. Buddy, please? What is wrong with this? Very annoying. Is there like some kind of rarity mechanism that I'm not seeing for the cards that we chose? Oh God. I'm making it my mission now to go see it. I'm too invested to not see it. Okay, also, what is up with the houses? What is this gonna do? Yay, we go all the way over here. This is, this does not seem like I'm leveling faster, although, the chilling out level said that I would. Almost there. Please just give me a level. The ninjas give a lot of things. There we go. Still not here. I need a reroll. Oh, oh. Not good. Not good. Please just give me it. <laughs> Did I forget to put it in my deck? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Can I see what's in the thing though? I'm, I'm gonna go to purgatory again. This is silly, I should just stop. Zip, 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 zip. Go to the deck. Oh, I didn't put it in here. <laughs> Getting mad for no reason. I'm still gonna go see it. Sup? Ouch. Okay. Okay. 
Wow, right into here. No, get me out of here. We need more enemies than that, that's for sure. Please? Static sidekick! So it's kind of... Oh, it does so little damage. Yeah, so it's it's not exactly an orbital, it's a, it's a follow type of buddy. Okay, well, that's gonna be it for our first look here. We've seen all the content, I guess we can. Almost. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it here. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Let me know what you think about the game as well. And don't forget to subscribe and follow if you haven't already. Would really, really appreciate it. That has been the last Humble Bee and we'll be back with more very, very soon. Yes, sir. I'm going to take a VRB and we're moving on to the next game that we're trying out today, which is Meta Ghost. Meta Ghost the breaking show so i'll take a quick brb and yeah stay tuned all right Lost castle 2 halloween vibes let's go hey guys what's up you want some of this pick up an ethereal weapon or armor yay loot 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 so let's try the right trigger oh my god i barfed all right drink a potion drink a potion i'm bigger oh mario got a mushroom baby and they're not good. Oh, I died! From the diarrhea, or was it the enemies? I have no idea. I mean, I think I'm just gonna use a lot of windmill. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, you can pick them up if they're almost dead. LOL! <laughs> that is hilarious. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at the hair, the Fresh Prince, baby! He's almost dead! Throw a bomb in his face. Yeah! <laughs> okay, cool. And it is all auto aim. I don't think I can aim my skill. That soul shooter seems like a really good skill. I'm not sure if I'm going to take any of the melee type of attacks here, so. Oh god. Let's hope there's some pizza in this treasure box. Are all of these active skills pairing up with a passive skill? Max them out before they can combine. Oh, I'm dead. That's a typical thing that happens with these games, so that's why I just made that assumption. He's coming. He's there. All right, everybody, we are trying another new game here. This one is called Meta Ghosts The Breaking Show, and this is the prologue that's available on Steam right now. It is a action RPG roguelite that is very similar to Hades, some people have been saying, but with a cyberpunk type of styling to it. We're going to check it out here and see what it's all about. Here, ooh, breaking show, Meta Ghost breaking show. The music is a bop. I'm going to stay here for a second just to see where the song goes. So good. Ah, quite impressed so far. Okay, well, let's Please let's head into it. Ooh, cool! To the lounge area. I am impressed so far. I agree, Benjamin. It looks very cool. It. Life's tough. You want stable. You live in Eastwood. Life's not good. You want better. And you live in the Upper West Side. Life's full of pressure. Holy you crap! Want ease. I'm Leo Sundman, the mayor of Salt West. This is really I cool. I want to offer you all a chance to make it happen. The Breaking Show, a trending live streamed reality competition. Oh, Eight contestants, one goal to climb to the top and claim the big prize. I like it so, so far. Remember those machines that competed with you, even took your jobs? They're still in your way, but here you can freely punish them without any cost. Now, <laughs> with prosthetic enhanced body and customized weapon. Ooh, virus beam. Also, don't forget to please the sponsors and followers during the event. Oh, I will. They will provide you sponsorships or create obstacles. So that's like the god system um, from but Hades. Enough, Similar. None of this matters. You'll get everything you desire.
Yeah, it's uh, looking Hades like. I'd say it's more spiritfall like with the map layout, which I like that game too. Your life stable, better, and easy. Don't miss this golden opportunity. Join the breaking shell and change your life. All right. This city needs you. Great intro. Very impressed. Very impressed. Wow. All right, let's freaking do this. So we are this samurai looking character. Oh, what do you want? Question mark. Hello, Taisuke. I am Mother. I am in charge of the breaking show. I will guide you through your first contents. Thanks, Mother. Mother? Strange name. So she's an AI. What do I need to do? Finish a series of random levels by eliminating all enemies or completing specified challenges to proceed to the next level. And how do I win? You have to adhere to the Breaking Show participation guidelines and complete two stages in order to continue to the next phase. Makes a lot of sense. If you have any questions at the time, any at any time during the contents, wow, uh, contact me on your personal terminal and I will do my best to help. If you are ready, let's go and test out your weapon first. Can you see the targets in the upper left corner of your artificial eyes of field division? Try completing them. Okay, X to attack enemies. Accumulate Kessa Mark. Spend Kessa Mark Y to use heavy attack. I'm using a PS4 controller, so I'm like... I always get the things mixed up. So this must be my Kessa Mark to do heavy attack. Got it. It's that little meter over there. Press B to dash. Ew, I'd rather have it on X. Can I change that? When full energy, you can do RMB to do... RB to do lots of damage. Okay, got it. I think I got the basics. Well done! That was a great start. Please claim your rewards using the kiosk on the side. Did that thing just rise up from the ground? Totally missed that. Rewards? Driver drives that enhance prothes prothesis performance. Prothesis? Okay. Or unlock new prothesis functions are only effective in the match. Collecting them can increase your combat power. As a newcomer, however, you can only obtain prosthetic drivers from Romani Biosciences and Foundation Industries for now, which are our obligated sponsors for the current season. Is that demo stuff? Is that like the restriction of the demo, perhaps? Drivers provided by Romani Biosciences improve your concentration movements and recovery capabilities by allowing you to control your autologous hormone Hormone secretion. What? Whatever. Okay. Drivers made by Foundation Industries will significantly boost your damage during the entire battle. Okay, so what's next? Choose a path on your terminal and show your potential to the world, and perhaps you'll get more sponsors along the way. I would love some more sponsors. Are you dead? He's just a dummy, isn't he? This is nice, man. So what's this? Obtain a driver. Electric weapon, lucky hit, chance to inflict, the bracket is on the wrong side. There, I have noticed there's a little bit weird spacing on the text and stuff like that. It might be like just some rough edges around translating the game or something. Chance to inflict, inflict electrocuted on attack, 30% tech damage per second over 5 seconds stacking up to 5 times. Electrocuted is continuous damage. The dur dure space shun. That's weird, do you see that? Where's my mouse? The hyphen is at the wrong spot. Very, very odd. Serotonin activation. Battle rating. Improves speed and normal attack speed with each level increasing efficiency by 4% to a maximum of 24. So this is just battle rating. Ah, battle. I did see in the, the trailer there's a battle rating for combo. So you go from like D combo to triple S combo. I guess it goes from C to triple S actually. And it will give you like space on your current rating. Okay, cool. Chain Lightning, lucky hit, chance to shoot Chain Lightning on attack, dealing 70% tech damage. I kind of like one of the weapon things. I'm gonna do Foundation Chain Lightning. Obtaining driver of something about the map. I did not see what it said about the map, but let's just go to the transmission. So we have Foundation again, which is what I've been choosing. I mean, I want as much Foundation as possible. What's this colorful one up there? What is this, Random Driver? Okay, cool. Let's go for some more of this blue stuff, I guess. I don't know. 
Yawn the fictional. How do I get more likes? I need more likes. Everyone remember to like and sub, by the way. I guess there's a little bit of a meter at the bottom there. But every time I dash, it goes down. Is that what I was seeing? Or maybe that was just like natural time progression, making it uh, lower. We have Ale Alexei Medikhrnarov. Hey, you look amazing, young man. My name is Alexei. Wait a minute. Alexei? Alexei? Different spelling? Very odd. And I will represent Foundation Industries to sponsor your schedule. I bet you can definitely take all these machine B words to the heavens. Take away your rewards. Thanks, Alexi. So we're going to do Tech Enthusiasts, which would be tech damage increases 20% lucky hit chances for Chain Lightning and Electrocuted. Wait, tech damage increases by 20%. Lucky hit chances for Chain Lightning and Electrocuted increased by 30. That is good for me right now because I do have that skill. Lucky hit, chain when Chain Lightning hits, there's a chance to launch a laser attack. Okay, so that's like an evolution of Chain Lightning, I guess. Very cool. Electrothermal reaction. Each Chain Lightning increases tech damage 8% for 3 seconds up to 8 stacks. So all of this is... Um, kind of like stemming off of what I've chosen already. I do like that there is kind of like a skill tree that's happening here where you you graduate to have different things. I do kind of just want like more consistent um, triggering to be honest with you, although covering fire sounds great, but I'm gonna go with the a little bit more structure or consistency here. Relics, huh? Gene, the jeer. Oop. How come I can't use my special yet? Oh, it's recharging. I'm not comboing at all. Can I hit boxes to continue my chain? I'm very bad at comboing, but it's okay. Mother, what's in this box? Things we yanked off the bodies of dead contestants and robots. They're remnants of the dead. This guy is a plague doctor looking kind of evil. Oh, sorry. I hope ne Necrocept Necrocept didn't give you a fright. Let me explain. These are relics we recycled from fallen contestants and ravaged AI robots. Some relics can boost your powers and some have emotional value. And others might come in handy during contests. They're just a bit more unpredictable compared to prosthetic drivers. Okay. They're relics. Ha 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 ha. Another naive, clueless rookie. F you, bro. Nothing. Just take what you want and get out. Okay. I will do it. UD Energy Core. Ultimate damage increases by 25%. Ultimate energy recovery increases by 10%. Maybe. High res display. Crit rate increases by 10%. I like it. So there's some ranking here, right? So like tier two blue, and then there's this tier two green. Coin of potential, get 40 likes each time after getting a driver. The effects of relics obtained will be retained even when the relic is lost. What? I don't get that last part in the brackets. Um, I'm gonna do the energy core. Why not? Random driver. Rare relic. I kind of want another relic, but I, I also want to see what this random driver is going to look like. I'm guessing it, it's like prosthetic verse or no, they, they gave us two company names or what have you. So it's just going to be a random one. Oops. I keep smashing the X button for a dash and it's not the right button. Just out of habit for other games, it's like the typical layout would be the dash on the X, I feel. You received a driver from match officials. So we have covering fire, which is the thing I wanted. Leap flow. Electric weapon. Chance to inflict electrocuted. Right. I did want that covering fire, so we're going to pick it up. Man, we're moving fast through this. Timed challenge. Matrix. Tower. All right, what do we got here, buddy? Ooh. Yo, what's up, Gene? So this guy is the guy I have to fight. Looks like it's my lucky day. 
Apparently she's 18, they said in the cover photo. But I guess in like all anime, you're supposed to kind of assume they're 18. Not all anime, but anyways. This is... Hey, welcome to my level. Let the Magnificent mute. You always love to show off, Sark. I told you before I'll be introducing this level, and then it's up to you. Please forgive my disobedient child consistence. Welcome to the match crossroad. In breaking show, you've chosen paths your chosen paths may cross sometimes, and when that arrives, it sets the stage for an exhilarating competition, such as ongoing wrecking show tailored to you. In this one, the prize goes to the contestant who destroys more targets. So I just need to take out more cubes in the skinny here. Can we get this over with already? All right, B word. I'm gonna screw around with all these stupid boxes. How much does she have? Wait, oh, why did I do it here? <laughs> I should have done it more towards the middle. Can I hit her? She does not get hurt by me. Also, she's moving so slow, it's kind of crazy. What the hell is going on here? Can I fight her? Please refrain from taking further action. The Wrecking Show has ended, and here are the results. The Toxin destroyed more cubes. I didn't know that's my nickname. Taisuke the Toxin. Amazing. Gene the Jeer lost. I would love to know the actual results. You know, like how many boxes versus how many boxes? Well, I got the reward. That's not fair, he just got lucky. You'll pay for this. F you, bro. Didn't expect there would be such a segment. Quite troublesome. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Just say something. Gene, be a good girl and please proceed. Get out of here. Hey, Hikari, who's this? Wait, aren't you too interesting? Hi, I'm Hikari Kumeji. Kumeji? COA of Romani Biosciences. Oh, very cool. One of the obligated sponsors. I was just thinking, what if you put put you two together in a lounge on the same team? That would surely shake things up. With him, with a team? Ew, no. There's no use protesting. I decide, mother, I'll leave the rest up to you. It's decided, okay. So I got a collecting likes. I got 400 likes. Is it possible I can turn those into likes on my stream right now that I'm doing? Yawn, the fictional. Stance in fragility. Some fortified enemies' attacks cannot be interrupted. Breaking their tenacity can render them fragility. Breaking their tenacity can render them fragile is probably the translation they're looking for. So anything that's armored will not be flinched. Oh, that's time. Oh, I can teleport through the thing with my triangle F my life. I want triple S. Give me triple S. Oh, come on. All right, whatever. Obtain a driver. All right, so we have Foundation Industries in Romani. So I haven't been using Romani stuff. Long lasting current, lucky hit. When chain lightning hits, there's a chance to apply electrocute for five seconds, right. Extended lightning, base damage increases by 30 and by an additional 20 upon each activation. What? How long does that last? Or do you mean like every chain that it jumps to, every enemy it jumps to, it, it increases the damage per jump is how I'm reading that, I'm not sure. Um, I'll go with long lasting. Why not? So we have random events versus HP regen. My HP looks pretty sound right now. An enigm enigmatic letter. You receive a mysterious letter devoid of any distinctive sender details or notable writing style. If it weren't for its official delivery, you might mistake it for a fraudulent email. The sender, an avid viewer, expresses their profound admiration for you and playfully includes a blind box gift in the attachment. It appears to have limited knowledge about prosthetic technology. Is this a scroll button? Oh, that scroll is not showing anything. Choose the attachment with the recovery feature which will restore my maximum HP. Choose the attachment with the like feature, which would give me more likes. Choose the attachment that combines both features. Nope, I'm taking the likes. Am I pretty good at it? Thanks so much, Benjamin. Uh, I, I hit like a year, not too long ago, but that, it, that validates that I should keep doing it. Thank you so much. They underestimate your deciphering abilities. Under the scrutiny of your prosthetic eye, the blind box reveals its true nature as a clear box. 
In contrast to healing, receiving likes is beneficial for you as a witness piling up to your account, smile forms on your, your lips. Nod to the camera, leave. Nod at the camera, okay. So it was just more flavor text there. Elite challenge, ooh. Jean's here. Oh, she's, she's my partner now. Entering match crossroad, a level designed by Foundation Industries, so I let the, the representative Alexi give you the details. Yes, time for revenge. Revenge, listen, young lady, you two are lounge mates now. Just like fellow workers sharing a dorm at Foundation Industries, so you must learn to get along. I personally designed this level for you, and the key victory is good teamwork, okay? Defeat a big fella together and you'll get a reward. By the way, this is like online or local co-op, I can't remember, but we're not gonna see that today, of course. I have no friends, so I'm just gonna play it alone. It's a fight, then I'll do it by myself. I need no wimpy to slow me down. Do I get both rewards if I kill it by myself? I have the same question. No, neither of you can defeat it alone. If you want the reward, you have to fight as a team. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Oh, wait. I didn't need to be so scared of him. I'm just going to stay behind him while she tanks all the hits. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a great job, girl. This is so cool. I love the cutscenes. Move, I got it. Wait. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's dead. Damn it! Okay, so we're fighting alone now. He's still hitting her, which is hilarious. This guy is screwed. Oh, he hit me! I got S rank. Can I, like, loot her? <laughs> is that mean to say? I don't know. Are you okay? Me? Never better. Here, take all the rewards. I don't want them. Aw, how sweet. Wait, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have quit or straight up died back there. I know we were competitors, so I don't want to owe anyone anything. That's respectable. Looks like this person isn't too bad. <laughs> Wonderful, what did I tell you? Now you are true battle buddies. Battle your ass. Listen, Gramps, we are rivals. R-I-V-A-L-S. I wonder if I didn't let the monster just like continuously hit her, if she wouldn't have actually like fallen like that, but I have no idea. Let's go for the relic first. Ooh, tier three. Like pulser. Instantly receive likes equal to 30% of current the current number of likes. I still don't know how much likes I should be trying to get, so I I don't see the value of the likes yet. Maybe it's meta currency or something like that. We'll see. Shura Pur Protocol spends all remaining revives. For each revive spent, max HP increases by 15% and damage by 30. The effect of the relics obtained will be retained even when the relic is lost. I don't know how many revives I have. I don't see any indication in my profile picture right here that I do have any revives, so I'm just gonna not look at that. The effect of supplies increases by 30. What supplies? Contain multiple supplies such as healing energy recovery. Right. I haven't seen a single supply, so I guess I'm taking the likes. I don't freaking know. Obtain a driver. Electrothermal. Right, we've seen that before. Tech damage increases based on battle rating. I do like that because my battle rating has been like A+. Plus. Heavy attack augmentation. Fires a chain lightning up to three nearby enemies dealing 70% each. I haven't been using heavy attack as much as I should. But I'm going to take the tech advantage here. I feel like having the, the perk for the heavy attack would have made me use it a little bit more often but whatever. Okay. Oh, we got some armors. Oh, oh, oh. The dash is quite rigid. I hope that's the right word for it. It's like, uh, you can't control it while you're in flight, which is fine, but it's also very specific as to like where you're gonna land. I'm dying, by the way. Triple S. Oh my god. Please help. Ooh, get out of there. Yeah, the, the game is quite rigid. Um, but I think it's... Maybe it's the character I'm using, but I also think it's intentional. Because you can't cancel your attack. Um, like, it's, it's very locked in once you have your attacks out there. And you can't move for... Um, the duration of the frames where it's delivering or showing off that attack. 
So yeah, I, I have to be a little bit more careful. Not saying it's a bad thing, it's just something that is part of the learning curve for this game, for me personally. When electrocuted enemies are slain, they will explode. Heavy attack, resistance to failure. Each second of electrocuted increases tech damage taken by the enemy by 5%. I don't know if I'm electrocuting enemies enough, but I feel like resistance failure might be what I want to do. Random events again. I would take that heal now. So it's another letter, but this one's from an employee from Romani Biome Sciences. I feel like I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Lose 5% maximum HP, which would be okay because I'm missing so much HP. Lose a lot of your maximum HP and gain a random type 4 relic. Let's do it. <laughs> Cardiac flow. Each time you complete a battle without being injured, ugh. Crit rate increases 5% and crit damage increases by 20. The maximum increase is 40, so eight times. Wow, I don't know if I can not get hit. Every time you enter the next level, you receive a current 5% likes up to 250. When hit, there's 25% chance, chance to recover the amount of damage taken as health and consider this hit as if it has triggered. Dodge, interesting. I'll take it. I'm almost dead, so might as well do it. We nod at the camera, and we have our first boss challenge, everybody. Yee. Driver fusion. Whoa, fusion driver. Select one to two categories of drivers from the right list and place them into the fusion driver slot. Any six drivers that meet the conditions can be combined to create a fusion driver with a stronger effect. The fusion result is only related to the color combination. After confirmation, you receive corresponding fusion driver effect. Insert drivers will not be consumed, but cannot be used for fusion again. What? You can also open the quick activation list on the left to directly view all fusion drivers that meet conditions. Okay, I'm not sure if I understand this, but... Um, what button would show me the ingredients again? Oop, they're all in here. Can I, can I fuse it? Confirm activation. Mechanized body. Oh, I see what happens. So whatever you've picked up so far, you can get a extra perk by fusing it together. You still have all the passive effects from the ingredients you're using, but you can't use them for fusion again to make another passive ability. So mechanized body is what I'm able to get here. At battle start, tech damage increases for 160 for 30 seconds. Each chain lightning increases duration by one second. Interesting. So we're obviously going to take that. And now they're in the used section and we can get another fusion driver with another six, I guess. So cool. Oops, wrong button. Body repair. You use your likes to get items. Look at that. Um, I might use some. So the likes are currency. That that makes sense. It's not meta currency, but it is currency. Increase the tenacity break efficiency by 15%. I don't know what the tenacity break is. Maybe it told me and I can't remember. We're gonna buy the body repair and the lightning strike. And yeah, we're getting the hell out of here. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. This, this game is dripping with cool stuff, man. Love the design, the style. Oh, what the hell? Perfect dodge. You like that? Woo! Oh, he hit me somehow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, perfect dodge again. How am I doing this? I'm actually impressing myself. Um, I'm just gonna stand back. Take it. Could you get out of the corner? Oh, what's happening? What's happening? I broke his shield or something. Double S. Yo, trip me up, trip me up. Oh crap. I don't know how I do it. Ooh. Triple S me. 
I didn't read that notification, but I'm just focused on killing. Oh, you mother effer. Not good. Oh, I can't dodge that. Oh, what the hell? Things were going so well, what happened? He's got a full bar left. Damn it. Well, that sucks. Not too good, but not too bad either. I would say oh, it's thanks. a fairly passable performance. But let me tell you, this B is nowhere near the same as a B in your school grades. You still have a long way to go. <laughs> okay. If you're the type who celebrates just passing, then forget what I said. <laughs> Yeah, I would aim for a B in, in school. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, cool. So we got computing power currency. It's used for customizations. It's universal currency in the breaking show. Okay, cool. Well, that was a lot of fun. Holy crap. Super, super cool. Look at that sad face. Did you get wrecked by that big dude too? Yeah, it's very strong. Oh, it's not that strong. I was just caught off guard, but I'm not satisfied yet. I'm not finished yet. Just wait, I'll beat it this time. Good luck. Huh? Good luck? Are you wishing yourself luck? I'm about to clear the first match soon and come back like a super invincible lightning. Eat my dust, Tasuke. Hope she doesn't get hurt. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Can I choose her instead? I can! Gene on battle. What else is in here? We got a database. How do I look at the database? So this is our database of the things that we can choose in this demo or the full game. I'm not sure. Holy crap. There sure is a lot of stuff, everybody. I'm not going to look at it all. So Archie will show challenge. The tournament transport is ready. Wow. Why is this game so cool? Um, the first encounter qualifier, Saisuke, who stepped on the arena for the first time, met a thug who claimed to be a contestant and hacker who was good at healing. Audience support, 71%. Is this a normal challenge that I was just fighting? Gene's kind of hilarious. Development. Oh my goodness. Hi Gene, welcome back. Gene, you've collected a number of memory cells from your previous battles and got some computer computing power, right? Huh, computing power, what's that? Virtual currency that your terminal automatically collects from nearby enemies. Oh, that blue stuff? So what about them? You can use them in the augmentation pod to unlock various functions on your personal operating system, which will give you an advantage in the contest. Does that mean I get to modify, modify more stuff? You don't, but augmentation pod does. Ah, boring, fine. I'll give it a shot and go grab some food. I'm literally starving. Hey, same here. Same girl, same. So we can have number of resurrections. Oh, okay. So it's gonna take five for that. It's max level now. And then Ballistic Ripper. Attacks can destroy enemy bullets. Whoa, that's cool. That's a second upgrade. Weapon customization. Gee, nice job. There's going to be a rule change because many contestants are modifying weapons on their own and causing danger to others. Huh, quite. Quit beating around the bush. I know you're talking about me. You are one of the contestants who have done so. <laughs> are there others? I'm sure we'll become good friends. Some of them are not as skilled as you and have caused serious devastation, including bombing themselves, injuring spectators, destroying venues, and so on. Ah, oh, let me take that back. I don't want to be friends with idiots who modify weapons without a brain. Anyways, due to risks, we have decided to add weapon augmentation function for all contestants using information obtained prior to the contest from customized weapons. Huh? You do the modifications? That takes all the fun out. You can think of us as a manufacturer, so you'll still, you're still free to design what you like. This way all modded weapons will be 100% safe. Imitate for mockery. Nah, 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 100% safe. Nah, 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 Whatever. Killjoy. Gene, don't be so difficult. You got an augmentation chip in the battle earlier, right? No, what? No, I didn't. Just transfer data in the augmentation chip into the augmentation pod to gain access to weapon augmentation. Holy crap. How many times am I going to have to say augmentation here? Fine, I'll do it in a bit. Where exactly do I get this chip? You get these chi chips by defeating powerful enemies or achieving stellar performance in the contest. But you don't have to go out of your way to collect them. Weapon augmentation is shared between lounge mates, just like operating system. You will receive a copy of any data chip that has been transferred into the augmentation pod. This comes at no cost to the owner of the chip. 
got it. I'll just go beat up some dumb machines, get the chips, and duplicate it for everyone to use. You can think about it that way. One last thing. You can roll back any weapon augmentation. Okay, we get it. It's meta progression stuff. You can reset before you jump into the next, um, the next round or, or wave or what have you. So it's just kind of like the mirror in Hades where you can like put all your stuff into whatever and then reset it and set it up for the next run if you're looking to do something specific. So how come this is a gun? Is this what she uses? I guess she uses a gun, right? I have three of these augmentation chips. Hyped up, get three more excitement from landing normal attacks. Bad wind, bad whirlwind, shared, shred them all. Heavy attack damage increases by 20%. Impact shield, increased maximum stack of buffer shield. I don't know what the hell that is. Ultra endurance, I can't afford it. Damn, some of these things are crazy. I guess I'll just unlock one of these. Enemies hit by normal attacks have their damage reduced. Higher self, the higher the self excitement, the higher attack speed. Sure. And then I can do tingling. No, I can't. Let's just buy these two. Wait a minute. Oh, I can only choose one of them. I see. I don't know what excitement do, does, but I'm just going to do that. And let's just do damage increase. Sure. I don't know what's going on at all, so I'm not going to look into it too much. Let's go to the challenge as G now. Oh my god. Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. Please don't hate me, everybody. Wrong buttons. Let's go, baby. All right. Don't make me do the tutorial again. Actually, maybe it's a good thing because I haven't used her yet. So she is a heavy attacker. Which um, I'm not as into. Wait, she can't roll? So she doesn't have a roll. She has a shield. Ah, and this is a temporary damage absorption, as you can see here. Um, her her health increases a little bit. That is nuts, dude. I kind of want to see her special just to see what I can expect. So it's just a nuke. Got it. Do I need that for the next <laughs> battle? Because I have to heal that. Endorphin enhancement. Dodge also increases attack speed by 20%. So you can run away from the enemy's attack range or use invincibility time of defensive skill to mitigate damage. So it will be considered a dodge if I use my shield and take a hit. Stress repair. When hit, there's 30% chance to recover HP equal to 30% of the incoming damage. Um, I don't know. I don't want to do lightning again because we did that last time. So I might take this endorphin, endorphin enhancement and see if it helps us. I don't know if it will. So we got random. What is this thing up here? Time challenge, right. I don't want a time challenge because this girl is slow. This is obtain relics. You know what? I'm going to do the random driver. Let's do it. Oh, right. You don't have, have a dash. My bad. Yeah, she is, she is not my type of character. I do not like slow characters at all. Heavy hitting slow characters, just not my vibe. But I think she's good. <laughs> that's, that's a weird thing about it. I, I think she's a good character, it's just not my type of character. Battle rating will improve speed and normal attack speed. Okay, I think I do like that because she attacks so freaking slow. Chance to dra drop acceleration supply on attack. Picking it up will increase attack speed and speed by 20% for 7 seconds. I feel like that might be actually better than serotonin because she can hit lots of enemies at the same time and 7 seconds is a is quite a bit of time. I'm hoping that it can drop even while we're under the influence. Because if it does, then I'm just looking at like an endless loop of the acceleration, hopefully. Oh god. Am I accelerated? I 
I do hate not being able to move between the enemies very quickly, but she's... I don't know, I'm, I'm constantly S rating, so I must be doing okay. Injured. Threshold increases by 15%. I'm guessing injured is like recoverable HP loss, but that is just an assumption. We had this last time. Speed increases by 20%. It's lower level, although I do want the speed increase. It's, it's just a tier one item and I don't want to do that. Entered injured state when health is below 50%. Oh, I see. So we can enter injured state quicker, but I also don't know what that does at all for us. So I'm just going to take the ultimate energy. Time challenge for the likes. What are we doing? You again, I'm just curious though, do you really need likes to buy stuff for the contest or are you just here for some confidence boost? Confidence, baby. Or could it be both? That would be utterly, utterly pathetic. Haha, <laughs> anyways, off you go. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I have to receive likes. That is the point, right? More likes, please. Triple S, baby. What is the point of this? I'm not sure. Why am I down to double S? No! So that was just like a money getting challenge. Time's up. You don't really need to try so hard all the time, you know? The outcome of the contest wouldn't hinge on this one battle, would it? Anyways, 287 likes. Did you get what you wanted? Alright, translate those into likes on my YouTube page, please. <laughs> that would be very nice. There's a bomb sitting over there that's looking very devious. So unlike uh, Taisuke, her... Her skill meter doesn't have segments on it. It's just like, it's just one overall meter, which is strange. I don't know exactly how this one works because he needed to fill up the segments before he could use his special attack, but she doesn't. Nice, that's her full combo there that I'm not using. I really like her whirlwind. So if there's anything to upgrade the heavy attack, I think I'm gonna go for it. Maximum HP increases by 2% each time you enter in the next stage. Maybe. Growth speed of battle rating increased by 30, and the likes gained through battle rating increased by 50. Maybe. 25% more, more likes for defeating enemies. I'm going to take the filter generator, I think. And we got a random driver once again. Let's go, Gene. What is this blue stuff? That must be the accelerator. Definitely is. I think this game is really well made. I like it has the right amount of on screen, right on top of your character, heads up display for everything that you need to know about. There's lots of games where it's imbalanced and I'm looking all over the screen to know when my meters are filled or or what have you, all my cooldowns and all that kind of stuff. So I think they're doing a great job. It looks great, obviously. So I'm super, super impressed. Okay, so we have tech advantage again. I don't know if I'm going to do any weapon stuff. On the last hit of normal attack, I'm not doing the full combo. If this damage crits, restore 2% of max HP. It has a cooldown of five seconds I do want the healing but I also don't use my full combo can I reroll I don't think I can lucky hit chance to inflict the electrocuted sure I'll take the electrocuted here so we're going a little bit hybrid it's okay it's okay don't worry everybody we'll make it cohesive hopefully oh yikes traps what happened there how come everything froze get me out of here oh my god get me out of here perfect dodge somehow I got a perfect dodge
Perfect dodge again. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say it. I, I actually think I like Jean better than Taisuke. I don't know how it happened, but it's happening. So we got that one again. Lucky hit. Attacks have a chance to generate flywheel that orbits around self and deals 80% weapon damage each time it hits an enemy. Up to five flywheels can exist at once. That sounds amazing. I think I'm gonna take the flywheel. Elite challenge, elite challenge, elite challenge. Timed challenge versus a heal. I think I'm gonna go for the timed challenge. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Oh, I see the orbitals. Oh my god. Nope. We need to kill this thing first. Actually, he's the boss and has the most health, so, so never mind. Get wrecked. Yeah, you can hit my shield, I don't care. Kill him! We did it. Oh, buddy, we got a relic and a driver. Builder's Brooch. All effects. All the effect of type 1 relics are doubled. I don't have any, but that sounds kind of broken. The effect of supplies increases by 30%. Acceleration would be affected by that. So I'm going to take the supply enhancement instead. And we're going to take the size increased by 30. For every 1% increase in critical damage, flywheel damage is increased as well. When injured... So this is the state where we're below 50%. Our crit damage is increased by a lot. Plotting defense, when reduced damage taken by 15, if HP is above 50, upon entering the next level, reduce to 50. What the frick? I take the flywheel expansion. That seems really bad. Let's go for the timed challenge. Difficulties competition is making you catch your breath at all? No problem, Uncle Sack. Uncle Sack loves you the most, ew. But friendly reminder, your teammates will soon surpass you. What's going on? What? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to stand in this stuff? What's the point of this? I'm just gonna beat this thing up until I have to leave, I guess. A little bit more of a description would have been great. What happened? I got likes for hitting him, I guess. Right? <laughs> Whatever. Those challenges have been so different every single time. Or maybe not so much, the last two, but the first one when we were challenging Jean as Sasuke, that was really different. <laughs> Hit him. Oh, damn it. I'm taking damage. See, that's the thing about her. If there's enemies that stay far away, it's, uh, it's a bad time walking towards them. See you later, bud. Obtain the driver. So we have nullification. Nah. Each stack of shock reduces the movement and attack speed of affected enemies. Are we shocking yet? I can't remember. I'm going to take heat loss because I feel like it's the most effective for now. All right, Gene. Can Gene be the one that, that beats this guy? I feel like maybe. I feel like I, I vibe more with her, her uh, shield more than the dodge because it's a little bit more forgiving uh, defensively. Flywheel tracks the enemy for an attack, increases base damage by 60% when hitting enemies with electrocuted status, deals tech damage equal to 20% electrocuted stacks. Okay. I mean, I have no other choice but to take it, so I will take it. I don't need a body repair, I don't think. For each flywheel owned, increase own critical rate. Yeah, sure. 
can't take the likes with me after, so let's just take it. When electrocuted enemies are slain, they explode. Right. Increase the maximum revive count by one and restore the revive count to full. Holy crap. Just to guarantee that I win, I'm going to take it. You know what? We might as well just take the body repair too. Get in there, Gene. What does that say on the screen? Might be gibberish. Anyways, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're in here. That wasn't a perfect dodge, unfortunately. Oh, I thought, what? What a bastard. Oh my God. We got to use her whirlwind uh, as almost like a, a speed increase. Ah, I thought I could get perfect there. What happened? That was weird. Like uh, we had a little bit of a, like a shatter and then I couldn't attack for a second. Watch this, you ready? Lol. Ooh. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, come on. Phase change. Oh crap. Yeah, I can't dodge all that. Oh my god, it hurts. Damn it. Can we do this? I have so many revives, I feel like I should be able to do this. Oh wait, I need that acceleration. Oh, a little bit too late, there you go. Perfect dodge, you suck. Oh crap, <laughs> no. I suck. All right, we got our special ready. Hit him! Oh, damn it. Man, this guy is so tanky on his last bar. Oh, it hurts so much. Keep moving. Damn it. So do I perfect dodge and run away? I, I don't know exactly how to deal with his triple smash. Well, definitely don't do that. Ooh, there's my first res. I think I got hit there too. Okay, well, I guess we defeated him. There's a couple of string of attacks from him that I really don't know how to handle as Gene, but that's for another day. Hello there, my name is Leo Sundman, and we at Awaken Energy have decided to fully sponsor you in this contest. What great news. Thanks, Leo. The drivers we provide make your prosthetics more energy efficient so you can focus on fighting without worrying about your fuel. It will also generate a shield that protects you throughout the battle. Sounds good to me. Gene, the jeer, correct? Giving it all to become the next big thing. A devoted young girl with a devoted girl. Ah, what a story. Oh, Sunman, do you spare me? Do you do you spare me your distasteful sentiments? If you really cared, why didn't you support this poor little girl from the beginning like we did? Unlike you, I have every faith in her. Don't be so harsh, Kari. Sunman is the mayor and has got to maintain his class. He can't be going around sponsoring every contestant he likes. I do have the entire city to look after, unlike you people who always have too much time on your hands. Now, Gene, please don't mind our little squabbles. What's important is we have faith in you. We know that you will use your aid, use our aid effectively, and give us a performance that matches the potential that we see in you. Best of luck. What are we waiting for? Where's my next challenge? Let's recover. We got a relic. Time limited challenge protocol. Complete a battle every 35 seconds and crit damage will be increased by 30% up to a maximum of 240. Wait, complete a battle every 35 seconds. Does that mean like complete a battle within 35 seconds perhaps and you'll get the increase after that? 
that's how I'm going to read it as. For each fusion driver you activated, increase damage by 30. I only have one so far. Increase the max revive times by 2. And life restored by revive increases by 15%. Hmm. Let's go with the time limited challenge. <laughs> Even though I don't trust in my abilities so much just yet. Emergency protection. When HP falls below 30%, gain a 30% max HP shield. Clearing at the end of battle, this effect can only trigger once per battle. Threshold mutation. Increase ultimate energy recovery rate based on battle rating. Love it. I think I love that. Dodge grants a 10% max HP shield that lasts 5 seconds. This effect has a 5 second cooldown. That's also interesting. I think I'm going to take the ultimate recovery. Do we have more? Is there more in this demo? Oh my god. How much is in this demo? Alright, let's see where we can get to. Um, rare relic? I guess I'll go for the rare relic. Yeah, let's see how much this this demo is offering us. Oh, we have to finish this in 35 seconds. Is there a timer? I don't think I'm finishing this in 35 seconds, by the way. Way too many enemies. Yikes. Now there's environmental hazards? Great. Yeah, that took way longer than 35 seconds. Oh, I'm <laughs> hit by a tr The truck actually heard me! I thought it would like just stop the damage reduction after we finish the battle, but it kept going. Good kid protocol. Upon entering the next level, if HP is above 50, get 80 likes. Hmm, maybe. For each driver with a on-kill effect, increase damage dealt to enemies with less than 50% life by 10%. I don't have any of those drivers. I do like how they tell you how many of those drivers you have so far. That's a really, really handy thing to do. Otherwise, being able to see the, um, the items you have would be nice too, which you can do from here. Expired Stitch, Stitch Sugar. When entering the next level, if the health is below 50, it will restore to 50. That's kind of what's happening right now. I guess I'll take it. All right, let's see what's next. Can I, can I finish this one within 35 seconds? Unfortunately, I think these guys are a little bit too healthy. Like they have too much health is what I mean. And they're also ranged, which does not help me. Somehow I'm still getting triple S. Please kill them. Oh my god. No. I still got one res. Why do they keep spawning? Okay. Oh, get out of the trap. Why are they so healthy? It's crazy. Yikes. 20 HP. Oh, wait a minute. Her whirlwind I can just hold on to, I think, and I can keep continue using it. I've just been smashing it. Oh, I got a call. Hi, Taisuke, you slowpoke. I'm one level ahead of you. Hmm, what do you mean? Hmm, I'm about to beat you to the end of this round. Okay, uh, I'm literally taking talking to a rock. Mother, can you get me a new roommate? <laughs> that is not possible at the moment, but I can send a request to your sponsors for you. Yes, do it, make it fast. I'm so done with this guy. It's just some flavor text. So we have normal attack speed increases by 8%, normal attack damage increases as well. I'm gonna take it. We have a energy driver next. We'll see if we can make it. I do heal to 50% HP, which is great. 
What the hell is this? What's going on? Now is not time for conversation. Thanks for coming. Is that the end of the battle? So the other girl came in now. I can't remember her name. It's like Tao or something. We did it. Amazing teamwork. I hope you will get along. This is Yan. Yan is her name. The fictional. Your new roommate I have chosen for you. Another seed? Leo, you bastard. What do you think you're doing? Is there a problem, Kumeji? Kumeji? You would agree with me, right? Kumeji. Don't drag me into this, but I have to say you are right on this one. Come on. Time to get acquainted with one another, contestants. I still got some data to analyze. Nice to meet you. I'm Yan, a hacker. My fighting skills may not be exceptional, but I do have some experience in healing. Okay. Yay, finally, someone to talk to. I'm Jean, and I'm good at fighting, and I've and getting beaten up. Hey, Skinny T, say hi. Hi, please don't be so modest. Team Data shows that you are also a good fighter. Um, I have to keep moving now. See you. Hey, no sneaking. I need to get going too, but I never heard you talk so much in one go. Crazy. Uh-oh, he has a crush on her. Who wouldn't on the healer? We need heals. So we have precision protection, dodge grants 10% max HP shield that lasts five seconds. That's kind of good. Like it would double the size of our shield, I think, if it works the way that I think it does. Immediately gain 50% ultimate energy. Ultimate damage increases by 50% within 10 seconds. Interesting. At battle start, gain a shield equivalent to 40% of lost health. I don't think it's temporary. And we're always at 50. Actually, she healed the crap out of me. And I'm at like 80% HP. So I'm going to take the precision protection here. Timed challenge. I want to go for the relics though. Let me, let me see what's up here. What the hell? It used to let me go up. Why not? Random events. Obtain relics. Biosciences. Okay, I'm actually going to go to the left here. What do we got? You really love it here, don't you? You remind me of those naughty kids on Halloween who double back for more candy. Hey, that was me. Then it's time to show us all the tricks you got. Uncle Sarklog will keep an eye on you. All right, what do you want me to do? I guess just beat up these blocks again. Getting likes, baby. So these things usually give you the same amount of likes, or maybe I just suck at this game. But I would assume that like throughout the game, you would keep getting more and more. Like it, it scales up with the with the further you get, but maybe not. Okay, kids, playtime is over. Oh, look at my poor little baby sugar cubes. You really wrecked them for good. Take your 333 three, three likes, you little rascal, and get the hell out of my house. Uncle Sarklog's candy shop is closing. You know what? The dialogue, it's its kind of, it's very quirky, kind of weird, but I think it's pretty good. Like a lot of flavor text in many games, I'm just like, this is not needed. I don't want to read it, but here I am reading all of this stuff. Perfect dodge. Yeah, this, this, uh, oh my god, get out of the way! This protection relic that I picked up, I think, is gonna help a lot. I think my damage has fallen off a little bit, though. See you guys later. <laughs> get wrecked. Alright, let's obtain this. Ultimate energy recovery, speed, injured threshold. I'm not doing anything with injured yet. I'm just gonna take the ultimate energy recovery again. This guy's armored, oh my god. Perfect dodge, you guys suck. Oh, oh. 
Oh, I guess the shatter thing is just a shield break. Just to let you know it's happened. Right? Is that what's happening? Or am I jumping into triple S then? I don't know. Three shielded dudes, why? That's a shield break. And he recovers it, great. Why is my attack so small? Or uh, so, so weak? Come over here. I gotta do something about my attack damage, man. Do you have anything for damage? Upon triggering dodge, generates three flywheels. We only have a maximum of five, and I feel like we're hitting that quite a few times throughout the battle. For every 2.5 additional attack speed, you get weapon damage. It'd be great if the tooltip told you how much that is gonna equal right now, but maybe I can just look right here. Attack speed is 34%. So does that mean it will give me roughly like 10, 15% or something? So we can have more flywheels on a critical hit, extend the duration of all flywheels. Huh. Well, I'm begging for more base damage, so I'm just gonna take this. I didn't look at my weapon damage. I'm at 13 weapon damage increase. So hopefully that will help us. Trading zone. You may spend likes to purchase items or combine fusion drivers in this trading zone. We always have a trading zone right before the boss. So I'm just gonna keep collecting stuff. I don't know. Seems good. Either these enemies are weaker or I'm actually stronger. Get him. Nice. Oh no, I'm getting hurt. Just finish it. Nice. So we have a new driver with some energy contestant. You know who I am, right? The CEO of Awaken Energy and the mayor of Selpola. Selpolis. Selpolis? Selpolis? Hello, go Blue Devils. Go Blue Devils. I don't know who the Blue Devils are, but go Blue Devils. Fame, money, power, anything. Name whatever you want as long as you keep winning. Sure, dude. I think you did introduce yourself like three times now. On kill, generate a ring lightning that expands maximum radius before retracting, dealing 100% of your tech damage. When hit, gain a shield equal to 50% of the damage taken. Uh, on last hit of normal attack, right. I think I'm gonna take the death pulse because I want it. <laughs> Do I need another reason other than that? I probably don't. Oh, he's calling it Halloween again. So it should be the same challenge. With all of our upgrades, maybe we will get some more cash from doing more AOE. I think that's the way you scale. It is, it is working. Oh yeah, we're getting way more money than last time. You know what? You guys can take some of this too. Why am I at sea? Let's go. Triple S, baby. How much is it? We got 522 likes. All right, last relics before we see the second boss. I'm wondering if there's even more after that. This is crazy amount of content for a demo. Oh, oh. Whoa, crap. Where's my shield? Why am I getting hurt so much this time? It's probably because I keep stepping into the spikes, isn't it? That is a huge shield. 
Wow, it's like, what, a third of my health? Very crazy. See you later. So we have a nice relic here. Shield duration increases by 20%, maybe. Crit damage increases by 50 when you have five or more Romani Biosciences drivers present. I have six right now. I, I think that's the obvious choice then. Boss challenge, here we go. Wait, they did say it's two stages until the end of the contest or what have you. So I think this would be like a full run. Oh no, we only have, we only have five. We don't have enough for another fusion. That sucks. Wait, I can buy another one, right? Body repair, flywheel mastery. We can get more flywheels. Gain a shield. Each time you complete a battle without getting injured. Now, does that mean, does that mean also like my shield doesn't count as being injured? I'm wondering, but either way, I feel like we're at the end. I'm gonna take the flywheel mastery, see if we can plug it in here. What the frick? Oh wait, I'm buying relics, aren't I? What is going on here? No, go to the other thing. How come flywheel mastery isn't showing up here? There's some weird stuff happening with the controller right now. Oh, it is showing up here. I can't count and I'm very stupid. And it did show up here. Solidification endurance. When HP is above 30, lose 7% of your max HP per second. Converted into 10% HP max shield. Shields obtained this way have no time limit and it can accumulate up to 100% of max HP. Why would I want that though? I guess it would work well because I do have the healing, um, the healing thing. I can't remember what it's called, the, the relic, but I don't have any way to heal during a match. So I feel like it's a bad idea to take it. I'm going to skip out on that. Body repair, please. Um, might as well take the leap protection. Is there something different that will be offered with leap protection instead? Oh, wait, this is quick activation. Okay. So ultimate has 50% bonus crit rate. Each crit ultimate restores 7% of ultimate energy. Let's do it. So we have a new fusion from the quick list that we were using, right? Yes, we do. Oops, just use my shield. Let's get in there. Who is it? Ooh, we're on a bridge, my God. <laughs> it's King Kong in a mech suit. MC1001 the Furious. How do I hit you? Yikes. I missed him. This guy has so much health, it's crazy. Oh, I have to hit the freaking arm. Duh. As someone who moves super slow, I do not like this fight. Wait, he's dying real quick. Haha, <laughs> his hand. Can I hit you, please? Wow, he broke through my whole shield. Oh no! <laughs> we gotta do this. I am not very excited to see his other forms. Perfect dodge. You suck. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So he's going to be doing new stuff. Oh my god. Did I hit him? He's got cannons now. This monkey is scary, bro. Oh my god. So far, he's not moving too much. Um, okay. Uh, okay. That was useless. I could have just dodged it. 
<laughs> He's so aggro. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yikes. Oh my god. No problem. I just need to know when I can hit this guy because it's becoming a real issue that I can't balance dodging versus hit time. Oh, that's gonna hit me. Yep. I totally missed there. Ooh, my last res! Just stay right there, bro. Stay right there. How do I manage this? I don't have enough shield and dodge to take all these hits. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well. Yeah, I I have to I have to play around with that fight a little bit because the second phase there where he's doing all the shooting and the punching seems very very tough to handle all of it at the same time so what i got double s i think got some trophies rating reward we got a whole bunch of currency from that very cool well meta ghost meta ghost the breakthrough show really really awesome holy crap i'm definitely putting this on the wish list it's a great looking game i think that there's a lot of cool stuff happening here and there's monsters that you can play as and i can see them adding even more so we have the healer we have the the swordsman and we also have gene who we're just playing as i can see them building more of it because hopefully there's going to be a lot of attention on this game and people just want more so there's dlc coming through and everything like that so i have a lot of faith in this game let me know what you guys think about meta ghost here as well leave a like if you're enjoying the content and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content as well would really really appreciate it and that's what we got for meta ghost the breaking show for now we'll be back with more very soon Take a big, quick BRB and we are going to jump into our last new demo for the day. So stay tuned, I got more for you. Here. Atypical though. Wait, was that a level up? Is that how level ups look like perhaps? The, the whole thing just drops on you? Look at this gun. Looking great. Oh yeah. You know I love splitting bullets in these type of games. Oh God. This one, it seems like you can put as many things as you want on your gun, which is kind of fun we got some 20 minutes till dawn things happening here just the correlation of like do i want to reload do i want to keep shooting there's a lot of synergies and a lot of builds that you can plan out based on those things the scatter bullet oh my god get out of the way because if we think about knockback oh it's too late for us anyways all right, Vellum, let's do it. Wow, how cool. And we're in. We are in. Shoot him with the crow. Shoot him with the crow. Ooh, right in the face. Dang, look at this library, bro. That's a lot of books. Are all these archived on the internet yet? <laughs> Bring it on, I'm ready. Break the crystal. No problem. Do, do, do. Chapter complete. Quip him. Quip him good. Ah, excuse me. I'm gonna queue them up. They're dead. Oh, oh, oh man. It is a giant rat? Golgor, what are you? I can't tell. It's not a rat. Oh dang. We can do this. We can do this. He's dead. Whoo! Tome restored. Oh my god, that was. That was actually pretty close. Thank God I did take the Cairo pod. Let's play Cowboy 3030, new run. And then this is a level up machine. F to level up. Kading, and then we hit tab. Whoa! So this kind of reminds me of like, if anyone played like Final Fantasy. Get wrecked. Oh, headshot. Reload. Dance around. It is kind of fun to do the reload thing. It's like Dance Dance Revolution mixed with uh, <laughs> a shooter, third person shooter. You have saved zero civilians and killed three civilians. What? No one told me about the civilians. I'm just shooting everything in sight. This is what we call a civilian. The people cowering just like this. I'm so sorry. I'll let you off easy. Oh, he gave me money. 
<laughs> I'm a bad person. No, no one can blame me. Everyone told me to go as the bad guy, okay? Shotgun Sam. Oh, oh, dirty shot. Pika you dreams. We are collecting the damage numbers. <laughs> what? Hello, hello everybody. We are trying out another new demo here. This one is called Sea of Radiation. And essentially what had caught my attention is that it, this looks like it, the uh, Spore game, if anyone's familiar with that. The first level of Spore where you're just like a microorganism or whatever you call them, and you start building parts on top of your creature to get through life and evolve and stuff like that. So it's very much like that, but roguelites. So if you've seen Spore or even Sypho, which is a pretty recent game that is of that format as well. Sypho was um, very inspired by Spore, I'm sure. And this game seems to have the same inspiration. So very excited by that because I love both Spore and Sypho. And maybe this is another iteration that can be a really, really good entry into the roguelite genre. So we're going to take a look together. Sea of Radiation, let's jump into it. So we have our fish body, very calming waves. It looks like we can't choose any of these right now. We have the ocean fish and we have piranha. Is that how you spell piranha? I feel like that's, is that right? I don't know, shark, crab, and manta ray. So we have our little nodes here that will allow us to build on top of it. It's just the fish that we can do. So let's just jump in as the fish. Survive 10 minutes, mouse controls direction. Hold left click for dash, click anywhere to start. So we got a one handed game perhaps. Oh really Benjamin? Isn't that game great? I actually only like the first, the first phase of Spore and the second phase of Spore are the only parts that I like personally. What is going on here? So I need to eat, I'm assuming. Can I kill stuff as well? Oh, I can just ram into them. <laughs> I thought they would hurt me. They, they look meaner than me. But yeah, I because I love the first phase of Spore so much, I'm so glad that these games keep coming out where it's like an imitation of that particular part of Spore. Enhanced metabolism. Reduce cooldown between cooldown time by 10, increase speed by 15, increase stamina limit, limit by 30, but health regeneration is reduced. Physical damage is increased, speed is less. Skeleton fish head. So this is a feeding organ radioactive. Attack steal physical damage, radio, radiation intensity damage is also added on top of it. I don't know what the, the scaling percentage is, but maybe we'll figure it out. So it looks like I can put that head onto that part of my body, and now I look like this. Eat it. My stamina is very small. It's that little bar at the bottom there. Everything's just killing each other. <laughs> this guy has a crab arm, can I take it? So we have a mutated organ again. Physical damage to nearby enemies. Increase armor, slightly decreases speed. Each equipped organ with a shell tag increases health. Physical damage is increased, but speed is less. Right. I'm going to take the spikes. Um, it's strange. Can I just put anything anywhere? <laughs> Initial fins. I guess I'll put it over here. Yeah, it looks like it puts it in the position of where you click, but what if I put the head on the side? All right, first piece of feedback. Some music or something other than just the <laughs> just the waves or the water sound in the back would be great. It's just an early look at the demo, just remember. So it could be something that they're planning on adding. Recover health points equivalent to 2% of current speed every second. Physical damage is less. Health points plus 10, speed plus 10, stamina points plus 20, physical damage plus 5, but health is reduced. I think I might take it because I like all those things and I don't seem to be getting hurt yet. Or we can take radioactive spores that automatically track the nearest enemy deals 5, 10, 15 radiation damage, health regeneration is less. Actually, I'll just take the passive. All right, let's kill this guy. Oh, he has a head on his side for real. 
So we can grow multiple heads from the looks of it. Oh, oh, my health, my health. I want to kill you. Oh, wow. I didn't know fish explode like that in the water. It keeps switching back to Chinese language, but maybe it actually won't. Yeah, I think it's just like a, a small bug in the game where the language selection keeps telling me something different. Now the music's back in and it's gone again. Never mind. Okay, well, let's eat. I lose HP every time I dash, it looks like. Wait, no, I lose HP consistently. Why am I just constantly losing HP? It's weird. Radiation intensity plus six, cooldown time plus four. We can have the metabolism or we can have a fin. Increases speed during dash, physical damage and radiation intensity increases. Health regeneration is less. Yikes. Well, we're going to take it anyways. So we have our initial head. I'm not going to replace it. I have an additional initial fin for some reason. Recover Sam. Can we kill this big guy? Yes, we can. Give me the food. Rawr. So strong and mighty, we have fat. Increase maximum health points. Each equipped mutation organ further increases it by 3%. Decrease speed by 2. Increase physical damage and equal to size. Sure. I will grow larger soon enough. So every time I level up, there's a little icon underneath my XP bar near the top. Hopefully we'll see it here. And I think like every three levels you mutate. You see that? It was like three out of three. They should make that a little bit more prominent because it seems like a major mechanic of the game to like show you that you're about to mutate, but then it disappears so quickly. So it's a little bit odd in my opinion. Um, reduce cooldown, reduce 20 cooldown, but your health regeneration is less. Stamina points plus 60, speed negative 12. Interesting. Um, health regeneration plus five, radiation absorption rate plus 10. Intensity is negative. Physical damage is negative. All right, I'm going to take strong and mighty again. I am so large. I can kill these guys in one hit. Let's kill him. Oh God, he's hitting me. Kill him, kill him. Do I get to take his parts? I don't, okay. So I guess in a way this game is a little bit more rigid than something like Spore or Sypho where you get XP, you choose a level up on the random cards that you are presented to you. I was hoping that like maybe we can pick up stuff that we can attach to our fish and we level up and, and gain space or, or like capacity to, to hold those things. But it is what it is. Let's see what keeps going. If we keep going forward, let's see how it progresses. Uh, so each equipped organ with a shell tag increases health regeneration. I don't think I have any, do I? Hopefully they add this, but it'd be great to take a look at your current build, but we can't do that right now. Regeneration is increased. Everything else is decreased. Not everything else, but some things are decreased. I'm going to take the max stamina because I keep running out of stamina. What is this shell? Do I want this? Well, I'm going to invest in killing it. Give me a pearl, baby. This is taking a lot of my health. We need to eat. Oh my god. Yes, die right beside me so I can eat you. Mutation refresh, plus one. I haven't used a single one yet. I probably should. Increase the range radius of all your feeding organs to attract food by 0.6. Sure. Oh, something happened. I don't know what, but something happened. Uh, sure, I'll take some spikes. Let's put towards the back. It was just a bunch of food from the looks of it. Okay, fat. Increase maximum health. Each organ equipped increases by 3%. Decrease speed. Hmm. Let's refresh. Increases physical damage equal to size. I thought I already had one of these. Attack After each attack, recover a percentage of the damage dealt. And your health regeneration is less. I would love this to be... Can I switch these around? I don't think we, we can switch around. I do want it in this position. So now we got two heads. Lol. 
All right, we're venturing out because we can recover a little bit easier. Shark Head attacks deal physical damage, but we have less regeneration. This is going to deal radiation damage. Let's go for a triple head. Now I look like this. Sure, why not? Oh my god. Stamina regeneration is a problem. So we have to be very careful if we're traveling anywhere. If we can't go on land, that makes sense. We are fish after all. Oh, I don't want to take a speed decrease. What is this? Attacks deal 100% physical damage to enemies. Can eat flesh chunks and seaweed. Health regeneration is less. Interesting. Let's put it over here. So we are this abomination of a thing. Here, let's, let's fight this guy. Oh, you were so dead. He is so dead. 30 health points, armor plus 4, speed negative 12. That seems like a huge amount of loss for us. I'm going to take this strength thing. This guy has a light on him. Why do you need a light? Well, definitely didn't help him. All right, let's eat this shell, hopefully. What kills it faster, piranha head or shark head? I hear farting. There's farting happening. Huge, huge, huge important factor of a game. There has to be a fart here and there. Digest a swallowed radioactive material. Radiation intensity plus 12. We do have one radiation thing, which is our skull head. Speed plus 36, but you lose a lot of stamina. I feel like I'm not even using my stamina because we're always out of stamina points. So I'm just gonna take it. So we have bigger bursts of speed. I actually think that was a totally fair trade-off. All right, let's eat this thing. Uh-oh. Please? So I think I mutated again. Mantis Blade. Swing continuously, dealing 100% physical damage to touched enemies. We're going to take it. Ooh. I have to give up something. Maybe we have it on our butt? So now we have a Mantis arm on our butt. <laughs> Okay, so we've reached the bounds of the map as well. Hmm, interesting. Each blink deals 100% radiation intensity damage to enemies in front and stuns them. Mutant refresh plus one. Interesting. I do want to try it. It should be at the front. I'm going to replace my initial head with the eyeball. Oh, this guy's huge. Kill him, kill him. Stun him. Oh, he's whacking me. We need food. Ah, we need food! Oh, I'm at like 10 health, okay? Do I have to take one? You know what, I'm gonna take the tough skin. Eat, eat up. All right, we're recovered. We're gonna kill that guy, I swear. Oh, I don't even know what I want. I like all my parts right now though. All right, kill him, kill him. Don't let him eat. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. No, 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 turn around, turn around. We have crabs. Crab champions, anybody? Radiation intensity, cooldown time plus four. Physical damage, but less speed. What do I want? Do I want more health points? No, I want this strong and mighty. Kill this thing. All right, full health. Where's that big guy? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This could be dangerous. Muscle power seems goaded because it has no decrease to anything. And we're constantly getting larger, I think. All right, let's see if we can kill him. Nope. He's getting stronger faster than we're getting stronger, I think. Increase the radius of all your feeding organs. Sure. Maybe I can just like eventually just sap all the food from whatever distance it's at and it doesn't matter. Okay. Health regeneration plus three, but less speed. Sure. We have lost a lot of health regen. This guy is looking at me, so I'm scared. Kill him. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Come on, guys. Yes, eat him. He's dead. He is so dead. 
We did it. Acquired gene fragments. What does that mean? Meta currency? Is there any way I can use my keyboard instead? Huh. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of just getting the same things over and over now. But I'm, I'm going to keep going. All I hear are farts. There's apparently something huge over here. At least they have a huge radiation thing. Radiation intensity plus six, cooldown plus four. Sure. Let's try it. Oh, a ship. Any treasure for me? It looks like there's a bunch of fish meat on it. <laughs> school of fish. Can I eat the school of fish? It looks like the school of fish are just de decoration for whatever reason. I don't know why I took that. Um, okay. So, wh what's the point now? Right, we're supposed to last for 10 minutes. What the hell's this? I'll go in. What's happening here? <laughs> Slightly confused as to what I'm supposed to really be, like, trying to do. I know we're supposed to survive for 10 minutes, but other than that, like... This game seems a little bit silly. All right, let's, I mean, I'll, I'll just keep eating fish. Why not? What's this red stuff? Does it hurt? Oh, it hurts, it hurts. Oh no. Yo, who's dropping that? We're gonna go until the 10 minutes ends. I'm gonna try at least. But it doesn't seem that hard. Wait, did I just see an arrow come off of this thing? Oh, they're shooting harpoons. I see what's happening. So wait, am I supposed to be going for the radioactive material? I guess I am. Oh, this one has a bunch of radioactive. All right, keep giving me stuff that just gives me power, please. Um, no more refresh? I guess I'll take a calm and collected. So much fish meat. This is, uh, it seems very opposite of the, the problems that we have in real life. We're running out of fish in real life, but in this world, they're just abundant and just constantly killing each other. Where's the humans killing the fish? <laughs> That's a little bit more accurate, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, early look at the game, right? Just remember this is a demo. I'm gonna say they're gonna have to add a lot more than what's happening right now for this game to be interesting. I was super excited to play this, but right now I'm just getting through the 10 minutes just to get through it. Not super interested in what's happening. Doesn't, it's not very entertaining to play as a player and also it's not very engaging at all. Like, I'm, I'm just clicking around doing nothing. So, we're running out the clock. And we'll see what happens after 10 minutes. Maybe there's a big boss we can fight, I don't know. But yeah, this is like, not challenging... ...at all. <laughs> Choices don't really matter after the first, like, five levels, it seems. So we shall see what happens at the end of 10 minutes. 
Sure, give me more speed. Why not? Well, what I would have loved to see is... Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, there's a storm at two minutes. What I would have loved to see is like... The... What the hell? I would have loved to see like, depending on what you pick up, you change a little bit different or you turn into something a little bit different. I don't know how I died there. Uh, maybe I got struck by lightning or something because that guy also died out of nowhere. Maybe I swallowed too much radiation. No idea, but I'm done with this game. I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> Not my type of game, but yeah, I mean, let me know if you guys think it looks good at all. I'm going to double check the store page just to see what's going on with this game. Available May 2024. So they don't have a whole lot of time to show us everything else that's supposed to be in the game. Very surprised that it's coming out so so quickly because I'm not impressed with what we saw there. Wait a minute. Okay, let, let's take a look at this together to give it a fair chance, okay? So we got this trailer from the Steam store page. That looks like what we were doing. That also looks like what we were doing. You just put six heads instead of anything else. I can't understand anything that it says, obviously, but... Um, that looks like it's still in progress, too. <laughs> like, they have some half-built screenshots or screen captures from their own game. We didn't see that tongue thing. I guess that looks a little bit different. No, it's just different parts that we didn't find. But yeah, it looks looks more of the same. I, I really don't have a lot of trust that this will be very, very interesting. But at least we took a look and we know that it's not going to be something that I'm going to be personally playing in the future. Worth a try, I guess. We played it for like 10 minutes. But anyways, that's going to be it for the stream today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in on the Let's Try stream. Hopefully you guys got a kick out of some of the games that we played today. I'm definitely excited about the um, Meta Ghost game for sure. And the Humble, the last Humble Bee was fun enough, um, but I don't think I'm ever going to play it again either. And Sea of Radiation, you know my opinion on that. I really didn't really enjoy that one. So we got one decent game uh, that we can possibly play again in the future and maybe watch for the wish list. But let me know what you guys think about the games. Leave a like. Remember to subscribe and follow. Would really, really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully see you guys again throughout the week. I'm definitely going to be playing some of the regular rotation games, which is um, Brick Odyssey, God of Weapons, and Noida, and then anything that floats around that as well. Probably some Crab Champions in there. And yeah, you should try Army Men RTS, an oldie but a goodie. Army Men. Is it on Steam? That sounds like, a, like an OG game, by the way. Army Men. Oh, it is. Is this what you're talking about? This guy right here? Prepare for hot plastic melting action. Oh man. This definitely looks like it was made in the 90s. They probably did that on purpose though. Army Men toys were like super popular way, way back in the day. Oh my god, I feel like maybe I have tried this before. What's that, Kensu? Soul that. What do you mean by that? Soul soldier? Soul that? Oh man. 28 action packed missions. <laughs> oh baby. When was this released? 1998! 1998. 1998. Damn, dude, that is OG. Soul that? So that I do not remember this. Is this more of the same? Oh, this is this was looking like worms for a second. This is so weird. 
The physics are crazy. Sorry if it's super loud. This kind of looks like worms, but like you can actually move around a lot more. It's nuts. This is this is so chaotic. Oh my god. Like this video isn't sped up, is it? Like this is this is how fast the game actually moves. I don't know about this game, man. It looks way too crazy. Soldat.pl 2002, not too far from Army Men. Very cool. Wow, that, that's a little bit too crazy for me, I think. But anyways, y'all, I, I do have to run. So thank you again for joining in, and hopefully I'll see you throughout the week. Peace out for now, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Lates!